Greetings, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Hit me with the five by five. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. This is the Zero Dark Tony channel. I am Tony D, your host. I'm the guy. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Boy, it's been. I told you if we waited till Sunday, there would be more. So Sunday's a good day to review the entire week of the SPTV aftermath debacle psyop um grift scam and we're gonna put some things together for you this evening and uh i will also let you know that uh i got some other shows coming up i've been digging into some more stuff between michael and diddy and the whole shebang and there is <laughs> it's a lot okay just some interesting things with michael jackson security diddy security Louis Farrakhan's security, the legal team, the uh, there's a lot going on with this whole Nation of Islam situation. We're going to talk about that in another show. So stay tuned for some of that stuff. Because some of the um, things that I'm seeing... <laughs> Wow, you know, so let's get into our evening. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It is free. Hit that like button. It's going to get this video out to new viewers. What we call active viewers and share because sharing is caring. And I care about you. The Sea Org selling bean pies. <laughs> That's right. So sit tight, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time on this ride, fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy one. But I think you're going to like it. Let's. Thank you once again for joining me. Welcome back to the channel. And we are going to head down this line here. Look at some interesting things that I found about some of the board members that I had never realized before. I mean, it just, it never ends. It never ends. It is a never ending hole of stupid dumb stuff okay so when we are talking about sptv and aftermath we're looking at people who are all the scientology exec who are, are scientology are they supposed to be trusted now all of a sudden are they trusted individuals i don't think so and whenever questions are asked of any of these people they either block you or run from you or avoid at all costs answering with any kind of integrity or honesty so what we look at is 
what's written down what is registered what is perceived fact what is fact and let's get into let's see i want to where is it where is it okay so let's go to aftermath foundation and let's just hit this quickly all right let's go to the top here and i've got a couple different windows um popped out let's meet the board of directors shall we so on the board of directors we have claire headley she is the president of the Aftermath Foundation. Now, what's interesting about Claire? <laughs> Absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> there, there is nothing interesting or worthwhile about this piece of shit who has maligned me publicly and said that I'm some spy. So... Hammer Headley, okay, was born and raised in Scientology, spent 30 years in the organization, so she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Don't. Claire, it's fine. Okay. Claire has got it all under control. 30 years, grew up there. She's fine. Right? So, she served as a high-ranking executive in the church's internet. Boy, do they play that down. <clears throat> served as a high-ranking official executive at the church's international base before escaping shortly after her husband, Mark. In 2023, Claire testified as an expert witness on Scientology in the Danny Masterson trial. I wonder how much she got paid for that appearance. Because do you think she did it for free? Let us continue. Excuse me. Also on the board. Now I found this interesting. Does anybody know who Christy Colbrand is? Okay, if you do, please put it in the chat. I know who she is. I just want to know if you know who she is. Because Christy grew up in Scientology and worked as a member of the Sea Org for nearly 14 years. Since leaving, she has appeared in the news and TV shows. Well, there's a double space there. These guys are just fucking dumb. Yes, this is Mike. This is uh, John Ritter's wife. No, Mike Ritter's wife. Come and knock on the door. So she has appeared in the news and TV shows exposing the abuses of Scientology. Hey, whoever's working this site, because I know you're watching, it's fucking, you sound fucking dumb. All right, look at this shit. These words are all over the place. Look at the structure of this. This is like a fucking five year old did this. Look at this. Look at this fucking piece of shit. Look at this. Look at all the spaces and the fucking... Who did this? Holy shit. That looks horrible. Who the fuck did this? Did Christy do this? Time to put her hand on the fucking table. Now, here's what's interesting about Christy's bio. Okay? Do you notice how in this one here, she says, escaping shortly after her husband, Mark, in 2012, she discloses... But she's married to this other board member right down here, Mark Headley. Okay, now hold on. Go back to Christy here. Hold on a minute, because she's next in line. All right. Christy successfully has served for six years as president of the Tampa Bay Birth Network, a nonprofit turning it into a nonprofit 
501c3 organization, Birth Network. Huh. Nora's wife is a doula too. Is that a doula? Because we're not even, we're, we're just scratching the surface. Anyway, that'll be interesting. Uh, so, yeah, when they do it on GoDaddy, this is like the fucking Hobby Lobby of websites. This is the one of the biggest pieces of shit. Who would give any fucking money, right, to this? Okay, so this is a doula too. She's a doula. Nora's wife, uh, Nora's wife, Jen, right? Jen's a doula. This a doula. Hey, a doula. Wouldn't you like to be a doula too? Yeah, Judge uh, Nora's wife got a doula. Uh, she works at a doula shop. It's like a barber shop of doulas. You walk in there and you get your doula done. You know, you get your doula did. Anyway, look at this last sentence here. Christy lives in Palm Harbor, F Florida. I swear to you. <laughs> they changed this. Okay, they changed this. So they didn't have her husband Mike in there a few days ago. Anyway, all right. I thought it was interesting. Let me just see if it comes out different. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> they changed some of the words from when I last looked at it. So here we go. Back down to Mike Rinder. Raised in Scientology, Mike rose to the top. And now, see, here, here it is, is that, it's, but still, you're going to see here, Claire testified as an expert witness. Okay, so, and she says her husband, Mike, right? But now we get down to Mike's, and here it is. Mike doesn't mention her in his bio. Mike doesn't mention his wife. So Mike is not disclosing. Even though Claire Headley is disclosing up at the top here that she is married to Mark. Mark Headley, who's right down here on the board. See, Christy doesn't say her husband, Mike Rinder. She says her husband, Mike. What the fuck is that? And why does Mike Rinder not mention his wife in his part of the bio? What the fuck is that? That doesn't make any sense to me. You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. It also doesn't appear like they're disclosing the fact that they're married. None of them really are letting people know publicly. This really doesn't. If you don't know that Mark here in this on the top here, you don't know if it's Mark Headley. They're not being very uh, forthcoming about their fucking shit here, guys. Okay. They're not being forthcoming. She's saying her husband, Mark. Okay, great. How do we know that it's this Mark Headley? How about she says Mark Headley, the, the frickin' uh, board member of this organization? How about Christy admitting that she is married to actually Mike Rinder? Lives in Palm Harbor with her husband, Mike, and her two sons. And this guy... They didn't even say anything about raising Scientology. Mike rose to the top of the because nobody questions Mike Render, <laughs> right? Hey, Mike Render, I have something for you. Whoa, there you go, there you go. I got two for you, one for you and one for your wife. Oh, piece of shit. All of you. Now, Mark Headley, our undercover. They should call him Jason Bourne because he's the undercover Fed. He's the undercover FBI agent. Now, really, what I've been looking into is some of their cases that they have tried to sue Scientology. They had to pay something like $42,000 because their case was they couldn't. It was shown to have no merit. Now, these people are going to say, oh, Scientology bought off the court and this and that. OK. These dumb fucks go in the press and talk about all the corruption, and then they want results from, it's like them calling the police at the protests. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. And Mike Rinder was head of OSA. 
Claire Headley was Mike Render's boss. Do you understand what I'm saying here? And that's 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 my understanding of the situation. I could be wrong, you know. And Mike Rinder has was in science. They don't say shit about him here, raised in Scientology. He was one of the Hub Scouts. He was one of Hubbard's little boys. Okay? He was one of Hubbard's little boys. So he was abused. So then he went and abused little boys and girls and people and families and organization. And and he is so wrapped into all these fucking parts of the music business that it's really strange. A little bit much. So anyway, back to Mark Headley. Designing and installing educational interactives across the U.S. for past presidents and musical icons is Mark's day job? What fucking president are you fucking talking about, dog? What the fuck do you mean? See, these resumes sound like bullshit. For past presidents and musical icons, what musical icons did he? What is an educational interactive? This is such a vague thing. Of course, you can't be compelled to testify against your boss. No, you can't. For sure. Definitely not. Um, in 2005, Mark has worked tirely, tirelessly to expose the inner workings that occurred at the Scientology headquarters. He worked at for 15 years. What secrets and inner workings did he know? I thought he was a fucking cameraman. Didn't he just make little, little, the little fuck card Scientology videos and songs and shit? You know? How am I gonna get to work today when I live in a cult and I can't get away and I just can't escape today? Musical. We're gonna make a musical. <laughs> I can't get out. Maybe it's this case of really bad gout. I can't go to the doctor. Where is a proctor? Don't be a lobster. The rock lobster. Thank you very much. It's the musical. You understand. Jeffrey Ray Jeffrey, board member, about Ray. Mr. Jeffrey is an experienced trial lawyer. He has earned the coveted AV rating. Oh, audiovisual rating. What's the AV fucking rating? You know. Oh, we're going to look at one of Lara's pieces in a second. Now, look at Amy Scobie here. This is interesting. Amy Scobie, she says this. Okay, Amy now lives in Florida with her husband, Mark Pesh. Very good. Amy is a certified life celebrant. Now I got to thinking, I go, you know, what the fuck is a life celebrant? What is a life celebrant? You know what a life celebrant is? The fucking funeral director. Amy Scobie is a funeral director. Okay, certified celebrant training from the National Funeral Directors Association. She's a funeral director. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. I don't give a fuck who Matt and Mark Pesh are either way. But, okay, Amy Scobie is a fucking funeral director. Okay, look. This is a certified celebrant training. Scott. Apparently, according to Scott, according to reports, Amy Scobie fucked Puff Daddy. That's what we're hearing. That's what we're hearing. AV rating is the highest rating a lawyer can receive. Fantastic. Hey, Junk Island. How are you? Come on there, cowboy. Good to, good to see you. Welcome. I love, a, I love a man in a cowboy hat. So here you can see she is a certified funeral director. A celebrant. A certified celebrant. Is that what they call this shit now? It sounded like somebody who put together birthday parties. And they're either all doulas involving with some birth or some funerals. She's a funeral director. A certified celebrant. Yeah, but where did this come from? She was in Scientology all her life. Oh, funeral director. Okay. I mean, that's just not something you... <laughs> she doesn't seem like a goth kid. 
You know what I mean? So let's continue down the line here. Let's look at the stories. Right. So right here, the story of Surge. We've got all the stories. We've got Ian's story. Uh, and this is Catherine Olsen. Is this the girl that left the thing that I apologized for? Look at her. She left the link the other day to an article that we're going to look at here. Look at her. Are these two both from the same fucking Petri fucking dish? Jesus Christ. Let me show you this. Here we go. I keep forgetting to switch. And the other software just switches automatically. All right. So we got Surge. Who is this? The guy with the with the with the with the arm uh, thing? Is he? Uh, I don't even know how to say it. Now I think that's probably not the way. I don't know. Surge, he's fucked up. All right, we're all fucked up, but he's fucked. Up. It's a dead end job. I see what you did there, Dreamer Ward. Ivor hang, hangs on. We, got, we have a we have a contender. So here is Ian Rafalco and Catherine Olson, Chaka and Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Chaka is on the left. You can see from his Cro-Magnon forehead and his bulbous nose, his one eyebrow that he somehow manages to keep away from the other one, and his freaking... <laughs> I think Surge is Asia. <laughs> Man, you better shut the fuck up, dog. That's funny. Okay, so Chaka and Zulu here. Catherine Olsen. This is a weird one, this Catherine Olsen. You know? This is a weird one, but I know that these are the goons. And they are beholden. All right? To have to be, they, they have to stalk me. They have no choice. It's their job. Or else they don't get no money from the Aftermath Foundation. Okay? So you could watch Aaron Smith Levin interview both of these people who are now on the other side. You see? So now they've got two. Hold on. We're not done yet. All right? Because this just gets better. All right? It just gets better. Now you can apply for aid at the Aftermath Foundation. They paid for the six-pager on the GoDaddy. Okay? Now remember, hold on. Before we, before we move on, when we go back to these stories here, remember when we could not get an answer from Ian with an itemized list for his GoFundMe. These fucking pieces of shit decide that they're going, I don't represent any fucking shit. If I robbed banks, oh wait, Tommy does. I'm sorry, maybe that's a bad example. If I stole cars, if I did some shit like that, not a thief, don't do anything illegal, my business is my business. I don't represent a public organization that sits there taking money from the public saying that I'm like, I'm ill, I need treatment, I need this, that, and the other thing. Well, fuck you, okay? Fuck you, get a fucking hard hat, you know? Build something, learn a fucking skill. You fucking third grade fucking fucktards. And if, you, if you're listening and you're so sensitive about cursing and you're fighting a billion dollar you're fighting a billion dollar and you can't take the cursing and cum pals and shit that's why you're losing you're soft because you don't have what i have okay you don't have it you don't have the fight you understand you don't have it you're losers you're losing and people are finding out that you're fucking losers and then you try and call people out and say they're liars but it's totally irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. You know? Let's all watch the fucking language here. So, you have a sea, an ocean of fucking hypocrites, a sea org of hypocrites. And understand that these were people that were sea org and auditors. These are much different than public. Vanessa was never in Sea Org. She grew up like every other fucking kid. She went to a normal school. Also, another thing that I forgot to tell you about um, what I saw in the court case with Mark Headley and Claire is that they didn't even live on the fucking base that they were assigned to. They lived off the base. They lived in their own fucking house. They didn't even live on the thing. What did they escape from? 
They said they got in a fucking turnip truck. They didn't even live on the fucking base. They're fucking liars. Okay? And it said it in the court records. They didn't live on the base. Yeah, Junk Island. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's what happened, Junk Island. Fucking piece of shit. You, you're a shit cowboy. <laughs> See, my personal shit ain't your business. And I don't talk uh, ill of people that I was intimate with publicly. And I don't need to tell anybody my side of any story. If people want to fucking try and damage me and harm me, that's up to them. But I will tell you that communication is the only thing that solves problems between people. And if I offer it and it's not taken, then, you know, what else am I going to do? And obviously nobody here who is my who are members that are still paying and repaying give a shit because it's irrelevant to my content, right? Hmm. And I would say that I didn't harass anybody, okay? I'm going to address this. I didn't harass anybody. There was a situation where my private information was publicly posted two motherfucking times. The first time, I lost my shit. I was apologized to, thought it wouldn't happen again. I fucking lost my shit. And I said, you know, and, the, and there were texts that were taken out of context. Because when somebody fucks with me and breaks my trust, I'm going to give them a piece of my fucking mind. Okay? And that's all there is to it. And I, and I wouldn't really give a shit. You know? But I will also tell you that there are two sides to every story. And I'm not going to tell mine. But the few details that I will give are that I didn't steal anything from anyone. But what happened to me, now I will say I responded, and the responses from the first debacle of the things being posted that are private of mine against my consent and out of context to make me look as bad as possible because I can't fucking tell, you know, what people are doing or what they're thinking. But I don't post private intimate shit. And I think it's fucking disgusting to do that to anybody. Just disgusting. Think whatever you want of me. But there was damage done to me, not only to my reputation of something that was put online and not true, didn't steal anything from anybody, okay? But I will tell you, there were damages done to me. And when you're in a situation, when you have a deal and a bargain and you're working something out with somebody, you don't go public and fucking put out all your shit online. You know what I mean? So, how about you, cowboy, go fuck your mother? How about that? Because I did, and it wasn't that great. So, next topic, like that's it. You know, I got fucked over and pushed under the bus by people who could have talked to me. I didn't retaliate, because if I did, that would be a different story. But I'm not gonna reduce myself to that level publicly. I'm just not gonna do it. It's nobody's fucking business what i do or where i go so you could do that shit all day my guy okay it doesn't matter to me and i will tell you for the people who don't know the situation i have put out a just a basic thing and said look if you want this to go forward we have to talk and there are certain things that you know need to happen before anything happens with any other people in my life that's for fucking sure and if they don't know how to communicate and they want to walk away from the table when it's right there for them to discuss and talk about then that's not my fucking problem okay and like i said as far as that situation goes until i am satisfied with my side of it and that's behind the scenes ain't nobody gonna know about it from my end 
but ain't fucking nothing happening there. And whenever somebody makes a fucking comment like that to me, you could bet the fucking bank that I ain't giving a fucking dime to anybody who fucking kicks me in the fucking teeth when I'm down. You understand me? So fuck you, fuck everyone, and fuck all of your mothers. Okay? Thank you. And, you, and, and if you think I'm fucking doing anything for fucking anybody who pushes me under a fucking bus and doesn't try and fix after they burn my house down, right, figuratively speaking, then they can go fuck themselves, okay? Because if I break something, I try and fix it. And I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. Have you not figured that out yet? Have you not figured that out? I don't give a shit, okay? How was that? And people think they know what's going on from a couple tweets and texts from somebody who's fucking unstable. I'm not stable, but when two people who are fucked up don't know how to fucking deal with the relationships and one of them really doesn't know how to communicate, then that's not my fucking problem. And I would never, ever, ever in a million fucking years put out anything personal about somebody. And these shitbags who sit there and dance over the fucking fire of people's fucking misery are also shitbags. But you know what? They're stuck being shitbags who only give a fuck what my dick smells like, all right? Any of these fucking people, not in a million fucking years, would say any of this shit to my face. Because, baby, I hit different in person, okay? My energy hits different. You would never in a million fucking years, okay, open your fucking mouth with that fucking disrespect to me. So let's make that clear. All of the merchants and grannies and all these other shit bags, all right, who sit there and they want to try and make a play for somebody's fucking whatever, peace. All right, these are shit bags. These are losers. They're in their situation, okay, with somebody who's got three kids from three different fucking dads, a fucking cum dumpster, all low lifes, alcoholics, fucking garbage who have no fucking discipline, never fucking built anything, and some people really deserve to be rolling around instead of walking. And every single motherfucking person that pushed me under the fucking bus, I fucking helped. And there are dozens of people who have channels that got their fucking backs or that made them off of my fucking back. You understand? Well, fuck all of you. You try and suppress me because you're scared of me. Because I will roll my nuts over your fucking face. Don't worry about it, Betsy Sue. These fucking lowlifes. And look. Did you knock me a little bit? Oh, yeah. Sure. Maybe you knocked me a little bit. Well, you know what? I always come back. And I'll tell you something. Every single one of these people that came after me, they've never played in front of a live crowd. They've never had people try and grab them and touch them. Well, guess what, baby? I've been there. Okay? I was I was on stage with Sinatra, network fucking TV, films, all that fucking shit. I've been there. Okay? And you all suck fucking dicks and try and knock people that you could have fucking learned something from, but you're too fucking stupid. So you lose. And their channels, all these fucking people who push me under the bus, none of their channels have grown. Maybe just a little pitch, but they didn't get that bump they thought they were gonna get by throwing me under the fucking bus. And none of them got the satisfaction of me going away and cowering my fucking tail between my motherfucking legs. King Kong ain't got nothing on me! (laughs) 
So fuck you, you fucking coward motherfuckers. You little shit bags that have to try and find my door with a group of 10 of you and one of you being armed. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. You better be stacked up if you fucking try to come to my fucking door again. And God help anyone that I turn this technology around on. You fucking pieces of shit. Don't fucking put, don't wake up the old me. Leave him alone. Let him sleep. I'm asking you nicely. And I'm not going to ask nicely again because when I fuck you, you're not going to know it was me that fucked you. Okay? So just understand that. I publicly fuck Nora. I publicly fuck Vanessa. All the rest of you, I'm going to do it privately. And you're never going to fucking know where it came from. So shut the fuck up. I'm sorry that your mother and father were brother and sister and cousins. I'm sorry that you're all inbred. And then this Maureen, she's the she's the last uh, board member here, this Maureen lady. So Maureen was never, wait, is that Maureen? No, the other one. Back up here. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, yeah, there was another woman on the board who's not, who she was never in Scientology. Now, let's move on to this substack. Okay, so here we go. All right. So this is an article about... Um, I need to calm down a second. This is an article about uh, the activist fandom and the defanging of the anti-Scientology movement. It's a good article. It's something that was mentioned by um, by uh, Mike Rinder in his blog. I gotta say, man, I don't, I do not envy a man like Mike Rinder. I don't know how the fuck a guy like that sleeps at night, to be honest. So now let's move on to the SPTV Foundation. All right. You guys ready for the new site to be unveiled? It's not a website. It's not a website yet. It's a splash page. They've announced that they're starting it and they don't even have a website yet. GoDaddy, powered by GoDaddy. <laughs> powered by Hobby Lobby. <laughs> powered by Bucky's. <laughs> what would you get buckies to make you this website did you buy, buy some some corn crunch with it you know and and i'm gonna talk about corn of it a minute i'm gonna mention that too now that i've got it all up there i may as well tell you okay so here i am never accepting any cookies or clicking on anything in this site i wouldn't do it either okay so here's their new site sign up to be the first to know about our soft launch events i mean it looks horrible this is like an adult holding in a child hands with his heart. That's not too uh, pedo centric. So let us go over to the next thing. And we're going to share something from the other night. You know, we had a, a night uh, out there. There was a night. Uh, people went out there. There are people. <clears throat> there was a night. They had it. They did it. And everybody loved it. Well, it said GoDaddy in the top. I don't know. It said GoDaddy on the top of the thing there. But, you know, Shopify, GoDaddy, it's all it's all Hobby Lobby. So here we go. We are going to listen to some music. I believe this is Lara Flynn has a boil. And we're going to look at something from Mindy Willens, her site. Boy, this Mindy is a real, real gem. She's a real, she's a real gem. Uh, she's a gem of a, of a, of a, of a girl. She's someone who wants to help with everything, all the things, all that you can be, be all you could be and do all you can do. And when you do it, you do it right here, right? On the Zero Dark Tony show. Now, look, let me be clear. <laughs> Hear me out. All right. 
This is not my fault. Defend of ants, DOA, standing up for our rights, DOA, defend of ants, DOA. Social activism, motherfucker. They're drinking on a rooftop in Hollywood. This is a Hollywood rooftop drinking. This is their... Defend of ants, DOA, standing up for our rights, DOA, defend of ants, DOA. Oh, no. Social activism, motherfucker. Can you guys hear this? Give me a five by five if you can hear this. Okay, so here's the lyrics. Social activism, motherfucker. That's right, Laura Filet, Laura Filet Mignon. That's right. Thank you. She is fucking tone deaf as it gets. Hit me. Oh my God. Oh no. Mindy has the M jacket. <sighs> okay. Here's, uh, what the fuck is this supposed to fucking be? Social activism, motherfucker. Oh no. Social justice activism content is my vibe. Oh, no. Like, subscribe, follow in the chat. Who is he? Catch me outside. How about that? Oh boy. All right. <laughs> Here's <laughs> how it started and how it's going. Everybody duck. It's Larry. <laughs> Everybody duck, ladies and gentlemen. It's Larry. I have to watch this again because now we've seen it once. All right. We have to give it a quick, uh, you know, we got to review it. We got to look at it. Defend of ants, DOA, standing up for our rights, DOA. Defend of ants, DOA. Social activism, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> First of all, that saxophone. Sounds like it's triggered off a keyboard or a sample. Keyboard. Content is my vibe. What is she wearing? This one right here. <sighs> like subscribe, follow in the chat. Didn't know the word. Catch me outside. How about that? Oh my god. Defend of ants, DOA, standing up for our rights, DOA. Defend of ants, DOA. So There's no way she's not. I mean, she's making songs about him. But he, but DOA rolled out some other sow the other day with him. Who was that? Yeah, but what she, <laughs> Mindy, Mindy, look at this. Look at these two. Look at these two buddies. Social justice activism content is my vibe. Like subscribe, follow in the chat. Who the fuck is this kid? He really looks like. Catch me outside. How about that? Oh my God! It's send off and it's just fucking. It's, that's Danny the Lambo. Did you say he's Danny Lambo? He got locked up the other day. What? Are, why do these guys keep getting locked up? Oh, he's the meth head. He doesn't look like a meth head. He looks a little thick to be a method. All right, so I'm just going to tell you real quick about 
since I, since I already went off, I may as well tell you about the corn diff debacle. Hold on a second. All right. No, I had to get, uh, they have orgies in the van. Okay, so here's what happened with Corn Diff, and I'm just going to be very brief about this. Uh, I did a show called Ripcast with a guy named Corn Diff. He, um, he, there was a guy named Cardiff. He was a potato. Corn Diff ripped off the diff, gave him his own thing, and he took a thing, and he's a diff now with the diffs. These are all in this dabble verse thing. It's about stuttering John. Long story, it's just another community that's got some characters in it, okay? It's just like SPTV, but different. The Dabbleverse is just as dumb, it's just different. So, here we go. We got Corn Dev, and I did about 50 shows over on Ripcast because I approached Corn Dev and I said, hey, a while ago, I said to him, hey, do you want to get out of the Dabbleverse? He had a deep voice. I thought he could be a funny straight man for what I was doing. So I said, hey, why not take a chance? The animation versus the, the guy with an animated character, and it could be funny. So I said, uh, all right, let's do it. We did 50 shows. I produced every single one of them. And every month I was paying for the streaming. And I was mentioning, like, you know, fuck, like, <laughs> I'm doing all the work. Right? I was putting together all the shows. I said, come join the show and we'll team up and do this. And, you know, so most of the time, what would happen when Cornef would get there is he would be drunk. Uh, he would he would just not be paying attention, just not like with it, you know? And it became frustrating over time. And then I realized he was taking the shows and he was streaming them on his channel, which we agreed to do, but we also agreed that we were going to make them private afterwards so people would join the Ripcast channel. Cornif was leaving the shows up on his channel, and he was not hiding them as we agreed to. So he was getting all of the plays. So to me, that was he was stealing the fucking plays. I told him a couple times, I'm not doing this to fucking pump up your channel with fucking views, dog. You know? Like, this is bullshit. So I thought we worked it out, right? Um, apparently we didn't. Then he decided that he was going to go and work with somebody who I really don't get along with and then brought in other people to his channel who I don't get along with. And I was like, you know, we're, I'm done here. Just pay me for the fucking, you know, streaming part. Just pay your part of the streaming and give me some of the super chats because... I should be getting the super chats because I'm doing all the work. I should be getting a split of the super chats. Sweetheart, I should have gotten every fucking one of those super chats and every dime, not just half of them. Fuck him. He didn't do anything. All right. So he gave me a couple hundred bucks after there were several hundred dollars of super chats and, you know, a couple hundred bucks of the expenses for uh, the streaming service that I ran. And then he started to just take all of the views, right? And I'm like, what a fucking piece of shit. So then, after mentioning that three times, I decide to part ways. He sends me a couple hundred bucks, and we're done with it. You know, I got rid of him. And, uh, you know, after a little while, I saw that his shit was floundering. I felt bad. I said, hey, man, the door is open if you want it. And then he starts to shit on me with this, uh, these other people on his channel and starts to work with people who are shitting on me and doxing me and trying to make my life as difficult as possible, right? And that's what it is. It's just like, uh, I don't know him in person. I knew him behind the scenes. I don't know him in person. So, you know, that's what's going on with Corn Diff. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I first heard of Corn Diff through Mersh. And just so you know, anything to do with Mersh, it turns to shit. Because Mersh is another one of these fucking losers. You know what I mean? Who thinks he's a winner. 
<laughs> in my worst, brokest moments, I live like a king compared to Mersh. Okay? So, fucking, these people are all fucktards. All right? Mersh is someone who terrorizes every female who won't fuck him. And he tried to DM me, tried to get me, like, engaged in some fucking shit with him. He's a fucking loser. You know what I mean? Q&A, by the way, guys, if you want to ask anything. Do I know him in person? I do not know him in person. Uh, I never even saw his face because what I wanted to do was I wanted to keep the character. I never wanted to see Corndiff's face. I still, to this day, have never seen Corndiff's face. I do not know what he looks like because I didn't want to. That's my method acting, all right? So it's very De Niro. It's very Kevin Bacon. I'm picking some real bad choices, but these are the guys who are known for their method acting, and they've become horrible. Notice all the method actors have become terrible people. What is up with that? You know, and people don't want to just leave it on the internet, but I will tell you, as far as Granny goes, he's about three feet fucking tall, and I hope I don't ever see him. And he hopes that I don't ever see him either. Straight up. I don't give a fuck about Mersh or anything like that. And you can't beat up someone in a wheelchair. Oh, my dinner last night, uh, my event was fantastic. A lovely catered event. I stayed for a little while, said hello to who I had to say hello to. And I left as quickly as possible. You know what, uh, you know what Denzel Washington says? Make sure you leave 30 minutes before the devil gets there. I leave a couple hours before the devil gets there. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a really great time. It was a really great time. And like I said about Corndiff, I've, I've not doxxed him or, you know, done anything. You know, it's not my fault that he's fucking, you know, He's got his own issues. As do, like, my couple of little problems that I have, you know? You know, like, couple, like there's a discrepancy over a couple thousand bucks. Big deal. Ooh. Like, there's real issues in life, you know? Other than stupid interpersonal bullshit. My worst problems are in here, okay, within me. If anybody's going to do me in, baby, it's going to be me. Ain't nobody else going to take me out or take me down but me. And, you know, they're just people that just get off on being shitbags. But they're in the positions that they are in life. It's such a low vibrational thing that sometimes I just want to I just want to give my grace out my good energy I have good energy okay there are a lot of people around me that trust me and love me you know and for people to take little pieces of private lives out of context and try and shit like I'm not ashamed of my life dog I talk about it I talk about it all the time. But when you ask some of these people questions, boy, they don't want to answer it. You know? And imagine having to live in a house raising another man's kids. That's horrifying. That's horrifying to me. That's worse than having cats. I don't like cats. It's just me. I like dogs. I like animals. I would not, you know, like I've rescued cats before. You know, if I hear one like meowing in a fucking storm drain, I'll pull one out. You know? I've done that. It's the only way I've owned cats. I pull one out of a storm drain. You know, I named him Drano. <laughs> and he became a little barn cat, catching mice. He was very happy. And then there was Lucius, who I got from my ex, who moved back to somewhere overseas 
and then gave that cat to my mom who became extremely obese and died from liver, liver failure as many cats do. So yes, I have rescued many an animal with my own hands. You, you just hear this, mew, 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 mew. Those little fucking kittens got some fucking lungs on them, dog. That little fucker screamed until I got there. I was half a block away. Drano. Oh, yeah, Doug was all right. You know, Doug's, uh, I wasn't really friends with Doug, but, you know, I got nothing bad to say about him. He's dead. I'm not going to say anything bad about him. But yeah, you know, there's always going to be people out there that are just going to look at just me. They're not going to like me. Not everybody's going to like me. One thing that I've gotten used to in life is you have to understand that people ain't going to like you. But guess what? I probably don't like them either. These are people that I wouldn't have in my fucking home. That I went on to some of their shows to help them and teach them and show them some things that they could do to improve. So really it's not my loss. You understand? I am also their elders. So these little shit bags don't understand respect of respecting someone older. And I might, I just want to add another note here is that before that whole fucking shit came down and they started to push me under the bus, you know, I went to one of those shows and said, you know, I haven't been feeling well lately. I didn't want to go on with Stuttering John. Something was going on. I wasn't feeling well. So I said, you know, hey, I don't want to get into this whole shit with this, these fucking pieces of garbage. I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? It's not something that I want to do. I don't want to be involved in it. I have to take care of my health. And you know what? They fucking did it anyway. They fucking did it anyway. You know? And that's why I say some people deserve to be in the fucking chairs. And some of the people that have those lives deserve them. Like I said, at my brokest baby, I live like a king compared to some of these fucking people. Okay? At my brokest. And by the way, with the other stuff I'm covering, I am not, you know, considering um, offing myself in any way, shape, or form, just so anybody knows, you know? I have some business projects that are closing up some of the final details that I've been waiting for for a while. They're closing up. I have some really big things that I'm looking forward to, you know, that I've been working on. A couple of businesses that I put absolutely fucking lootly everything that I had into. I took everything, all my chips, and I went, boom, everything that I could fucking scrape up, I put into this thing, and it's going to go. And all you fucking people are going to suck on my fucking dick afterward, and no, you're not going to be allowed to my parties. You'll see. You'll see. I've done it before. I'll show them. I'll show them a thing or two. No, but seriously, I, I have some things coming up that I'm really looking forward to. And it's a shame that some people, you know, that uh, don't want to be involved, don't realize sometimes the resource that um, just my stories alone are. You know what I mean? Just like where I've been, what I've done. I'm an interesting individual. Sorry. I've been to some interesting places. I would have done it all differently, by the way. I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't think it's great. I think I should have fucking stayed in school, kids. You know what I mean? And my life would have been a lot more stable. So I did definitely take the road less traveled, but it was tough. But I didn't ask for an easy road. You know, I never asked for an easy road. I asked for peace, and I feel like God gave me the opportunity to practice peace. <laughs> you know? And just my, yeah, experience is the best teacher. 
And some of the things that I have coming up that are going to be about Michael Jackson and some of the other things that I have experienced, you know, unfortunately with some of these goons, these you know, these fucking idiots have really prevented me from mentioning a lot of really great stuff that I could because now some of the people that were involved I can't talk about because they'll like go and harass them as they've harassed my family members. And I swear to fucking everything that I fucking hold dear to me. If I ever see a couple of these fucking people, thank fucking God for them that there is no further in this fucking country that I could be away from them. Yeah, this is my reality show. <sighs> Welcome. Welcome to my reality show. <coughs> no, I saw some of the uh, showbiz cats last night and I was reminded quickly why I'm not there anymore. I was offered cocaine. Cocaine. I was offered cocaine. I was offered cocaine. I was Japanese whiskey. A uh, couple, uh, couple Asian uh, ladies of the evening were there with uh, one of the people that hired them. So, you know, you also have to look at people, and there's an old phrase that goes, "Consider the source." You know. Like the people that just seek to irritate, that's fine. You know, life is full of that. This is my lesson that I have to learn in life. So these people are put, these people are given to me by the universe to teach me lessons, right? The universe gives me what I need. The universe conspires for my success, but it always teaches me a lesson before I get it. You know, yes, I'm the one that no one likes, and I didn't try and clout chase. I just went out there, kid freshy. I went out there quietly. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was recognized because of my show. So whether anybody likes me or not, they recognized me and approached me. I approached no one. So, by the way, Kid Freshy, no one would recognize you when you went fucking anywhere, fucking pussy, bitch. <clears throat> yes, I'm a real troll. Two thousand dollar camera. I'm such a troll. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time, dog. You know, is that how you come into someone's chat? See, these people like expect like some kind of communication. You know, they expect some kind of niceness to them when they come in and act like that. Like, I was I was wearing a mask and a hat, and that one motherfucking stalker still recognized me. Does anybody recognize you when you go to them freshy? No, because you don't even show your face, you fucking bitch. So get the fuck out of here and fuck your mother. Okay? How about that? Like, do you think that I'm a some fucking cupcake that you could just fucking come at and I don't got a fucking clap back for you, bitch? Are you crazy? Come and get it. That's two of you tonight. At least some of you have some balls tonight. Maybe some of you are drinking, feeling a little saucy. I'm such a troll. Yes, 41 watching. 41 more than are watching you, baby. And you know, when people report channels, it, it throttles the channel. It happens. I got to constantly talk with YouTube about it. My notifications don't go out. <coughs> I used to have <coughs> anywhere between 1,500 and 3,000 people on my lives. <coughs> <coughs> even more on Instagram. So yeah, Kid Freshy, <coughs> you, again, don't know what you're talking about. That you don't have people that you challenge so nobody reports you because nobody gives a fuck about you. But I literally have thousands of people talking about me all the time. Channels all over the place. Whether they talk shit about me or whether they say nice things about me, Freshy, they're talking about me, not you, honey, because I'm controversial. 
you know? Interesting ideas. That's a great question. I am on Rumble. I'm on Kick. I'm on Rockfin. I'm on, you know, my, and by the way, uh, Kid Freshy, my overall crowd, I got about 30,000 people all told with all my, you know, platforms, about 30,000 people, you know, and I don't really, I just enjoy this. You don't hear me sitting here banging you over the head for super chats, do you? So relax, Freshy. It's okay. You're welcome here. Hang out. You'll understand how YouTube works. And how all the people you watch buy bots and they're botted. <laughs> I got that depth now, though. I got that depth. That de I look like I'd hit a golf shot behind me right now. So how many people watch you, Kid Freshy? You sound like you're a graffiti artist. I like graffiti. I like Kid Freshy. I got no problem. Who's Toots? Who's Toots? Who's, who's Toots, Anna? Reese and Toots? Oh, Toots is Tommy? Tommy Toots? They're doing a show? They're doing a live? Hasn't her husband thrown her out yet? What the fuck? She keeps doing lives with this guy? I think that I think that Reese's husband likes to be likes to get a little cuck action on FaceTime. You know? And I think she like sits there like this. Her husband's on here, right? Tommy's, you know. Yeah, I didn't block anybody, Rosie. This is this is her way. Hi, husband. This is here's Tommy. Here's here's Tommy, husband. Here's Tommy. Yeah, I have mods, Rosie. I have mods and they are in control. So they're in charge. I do not question any of the bannings, but maybe he said something stupid and he and he kicked him out. I don't care. But I don't I don't know if he's blocked or not. I don't hate anybody. I even like you, Rosie Ruiz. I like that name. I love Latinas. You know what I like about the Latinas? The chancla. I love the chancla. Don't be so crispy, Rosie Ruiz. I like you too. I don't hate anybody. I really don't. I hate things people do, you know? I hate things like cruelty and shit like that. You know what I mean? I'm the troll that clout chased at the place where people literally chased me. <laughs> I was literally going to get fries at McDonald's, to be honest. I didn't even go out there to be out there. I can't help it if they recognize me. You know, they're watching me. Okay. They're recognizing me because they watch. It's, you know, I, like I, I even had my face covered. The guy recognized me from my hat. That's the only way he could have recognized me because I wore that hat like once. And this guy was so fucking, you know, I didn't block you. I could see your message. I didn't block you. A, I didn't block you. And B, who gives a fuck if I did block you because it's my show. But I didn't block you. Like, not that it matters. Tommy's mom is serving snacks. Tommy's Oreo smoothie now. I could see your message, Rosie. Yeah, that was only a timeout. That was a timeout for like forever seconds because you probably said something that was totally fucking rude and inappropriate. You know? Yeah. Yeah, four accounts that I've blocked because you're being a, a, a weirdo. So now we know to definitely block this one. Now you're blocked. 
because you're an asshole, apparently. <laughs> you're an asshole that can't control themselves and you are rude. So my mods see fit to get rid of you. Okay, so bye bye I mean, I don't care. I'm gonna do my thing whether you're here or not. And four fucking, look at the kind of loser that you are. Four freaking accounts because you can't control yourself. And it's Ivor doing it, but I approve of Ivor doing it. And now I approve of Ivor banning you. Four accounts. I'm soft. You're dumb and disrespectful and a troll. Thank you, Fred. This is probably Rosie number five. Is this his Fred Lore's ro <laughs> fucking Rosie number five? It's fine. It's fine. You get trolls. In. It doesn't bother me like shit. It's part of the internet. You just have to deal with it. I have a little fun with it. You know. Rosie's probably one of the fucking people from these other fucking, one of these other fucking camps because we're talking about them. They may be stream sniping me. And if you're stream sniping me, I'm going to fucking copyright strike you. Okay. Because you're not using it for fucking fair use. You're using it just to be fucking pain in the ass. And I swear to fucking God, if you're not doing it with fair use, because fair use is fair use. And most of the time, I really don't give a shit. And I probably won't copyright strike anything anyway. I'm just saying that. I don't know what I should. I mean, like, I'm going to take the time to copyright strike something. Stream it all you want. I don't care. Honestly. There it is. I don't think that's a spigger. I think that's uh, from uh, Corn Diff and those guys and Granny and those people. I think that's one of them. They have multiples. They're, they're, and they're much more forward in their approach, you know? See, I'm, 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 I'm figuring Fred Lors. So just leave Fred Lors alone for a minute. Let's see what Fred Lors does. I'm curious. I mean, people are welcome here. Look, if you can be respectful uh, in roasting me, that's fine. But there are just certain things that just don't fly in here. Because why should I deal with negativity? I, don't, I obviously don't make my living out of this. I come on here just because I enjoy it. It's like my therapy. I like doing this. Oh, I don't know, Fred. Fred, I don't know, Fred. Hey, Fred. I like Fred. Fred Lors in the house. Okay. We all know the Lorax talks to the trees. All right. So I let everybody know. If you're curious. Roll with the jokes, Fred. We're good. So early, Dave, I don't know if you guys were around. Some of you might have seen me make my steak in my kitchen. That was fucking awesome. I got to be honest with you. Ever since I was a kid and I watched those, God, it was like great chefs of the world or whatever. It was like on public access, you know, on PBS. And uh, yeah, I'll get, there. I'll get to that in one second, Fred Lords. That's a good question. Um, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but yeah, I forgot what I was. Where was I? I totally went to the Bahamas for a second. Anybody? I forgot what I was saying. Hey, there's, there's the brain injury talking for you. It's just like sometimes my brain's like, you know what? Forget that story. <laughs> That's in a TBI. Oh, yeah. I was talking about the steak. Oh, yeah. So I made the steak. Oh, here we go. Okay. So ever since I was a little kid, I watched like great chefs of New Orleans, great chefs of Paris, great chefs, great chefs. And they always had the tall hats and they were, everything was so proper. And then later as it developed through the 80s, you would see people like, Bobby Flay and Tony Bourdain. And these were like the first guys on there. Emeril Lagasse. These were like the first live big time chefs on the Food Network, right? So then the Food Network became really big. And then they started to do shows, contests, competitions, chopped, the cake one. The cake fucking wars was epic. We should, we should actually use that as a topic here. We should watch Cake Wars. 
remind me we got to watch some kind of that but with the cooking thing i've always wanted a cooking show and i've always i always love everybody wants to do what tony bourdain did <laughs> you know is to it's to, but i am also a tony so as a tony i am heir to the throne okay heir to the throne all right so i'm heir to the throne of tone so my feeling about doa my what was the actual question here let me scroll back ah thoughts on doa well ivermectin uh, has a very good point here he is a professional protester oh oh and now and dreamer wars was talking about aaron fred is reese's husband yeah, let's go back in here. Fred is Reese's husband. He's the he's the like in the Midwest or something. He's like a politician or something. The husband. He is a um, Republican politician. I don't care about politics. I don't I don't care if he's Republican or Democrat. I just I think he's a Republican politician, which is you know unusual because of the liberal leanings of this community. You know they're all such S J dubs. And as far as, you know, just to correct maybe what Ivor said here is, um, well, not to correct, but I don't know if it's a DV charge. So I can't confirm or deny that. These charges could be related to the, there was another video that he put up there and there was some freaking some West Virginia, like, holy shit, man. He was like, We got to watch this video sometime, but he's in West Virginia and there are these old ass hillbillies and they just look like they, they have the Confederate flag. <laughs> they have the Confederate flag hanging up and they got like a little picnic table in there. They're having some kind of freaking meeting and he's across the street, like yelling at them. So I'm torn between DOA. I think he's a fucking moron, but he has his moments. Okay. I mean, he's like, you know, he's like, I don't know if people are familiar with the Philadelphia Phillies, but DOA is like a guy named Greg Luzinski. Now, I don't know if anybody knows who Greg Luzinski was or if you're old enough, but Greg Luzinski now has like barbecue places in the Philadelphia stadiums. Okay. But they called Greg Luzinski the bull and Greg Luzinski was the guy that they called up when they were in the pinch. They needed the big hit. But you know what? Greg Lazinski didn't always fucking deliver. Sometimes he'd get on the plate and he would whiff hard. That's what I see DOA as. Sometimes he's good. But when he starts to yell too much, he gets a little upset. And he gets a little too deep into that pocket. You know, where he's just, you know. Yeah, we we know his name. Yeah, Scott Hosteller. He said it before. It's been in records. It's, he's not hiding. Um, social justice warrior is SJW. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of their live streams before, Fred. You are absolutely right. They are some fucking pussies. Oh, my God, that LA Cam guy and the other fucking whatever guy, these little soft, like, no facial hair boys, young boys. They're sitting out there. They're talking about free speech, and then any little thing that comes in the chat you know, they can't fucking handle it. Like me, I could handle it. I got mods that are going to throw people out, but I can handle anything. You know, I also have a fucking brain injury. So if you're coming in here for fucking things deep and harassing me, like uh, be a human being, you know, like chill. You know, I don't go to your job and knock the dick out of your mouth. Are you Scott? That Scott? Are you Scott Scott? <coughs> See, there's a legion of Scots. Just like there's a legion of Tonys. Okay. Well, here's the problem is that I don't know if they're on drugs or not. You know? Yeah, I don't ban my mods for saying I don't ban I don't have the mods. Mods know what to do. And the mods here. 
And, you know, all I could say, <laughs> I know, Scott. Um, all I could say is that there is a tone of negativity and there is a line in the sand. And, you know, in the Supreme Court, they said one time, what is pornography, right? And the judge and the, I believe they said, you know when you see it, okay? This is the same fucking thing. When it's negative and bullshit and over the line, I'm a grown ass man. I know when I see it. Ivor's a grown fucking adult. We know when we see when it goes over the line. So we're not chucking anybody that's fucking stupid or abusive. Thank you, Ivor. He's got to throw me words. I'm half a fucking Pop Tart, okay? My brain is half of my brain. Do you know that I look at this scar above my head? Do you know the brain damage that I have? from my accidents in contact sports, hockey, lacrosse. Jesus. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so yeah, a lot of these people are sort of, no, you're not, Ivor, really? Damn. Sorry. <laughs> um... So yeah, streets also, streets got served. And the attorney for um, the, here's, oh shit, this is what we found out today. Watch the streets. Holy shit, I forgot to tell you guys this. Oh my God, this is important. The attorney for, um, okay, fuck La Poubelle, by the way, because her attorney is friends with Ghislaine Maxwell. And Streets is saying that it was Ghislaine Maxwell's attorney. So that the lady that represent that is representing the lady at La Poubelle, allegedly and reportedly, according to Streets, is an associate of Ghislaine Maxwell. That would make sense because remember the video that I posted today in community tabs that I did eight months ago. Eight months ago, I did about Robert Maxwell's involvement with Scientology and the publishing and how he was involved with Hubbard. I showed his his course thing. It's in it's in my community tabs right now. I just posted earlier today. Okay. Yes, Robert Maxwell was associated with Scientology. Ghislaine Maxwell's father. Across the fucking street from where that restaurant is. So before I was like, eh, I don't know why they're bugging this old lady and things like that. Uh so fuck that lady and fuck that restaurant sorry i don't give a shit if it closes i don't care if 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 doa drove into that well you can't do that with people there obviously but if no one was there so you know and i went and i brought out all the stuff about robert maxwell and his associate robert maxwell took fucking scientology courses from what i found and guess what? After I posted the video, I went back and I can't find any of that shit. So it's in the video. So you can do with that what you want. If you ever see any red dots popping around in my chest or head area, just let me know, okay? <laughs> yes, Jiz Lane. Now, Jiz Lane... has some very interesting ties with some like fucking some science associations and you know look all these old ass pedos and predators most of them that are billionaires are also looking into longevity right they've also been looking into longevity uh, if you looked at my Peter Nygaard, uh, I, I interviewed Peter Nygaard's son, Kai. If you don't know who Peter Nygaard is, he is known as the Canadian Jeffrey Epstein. Okay? So I did an interview with his son. It's three hours. It's epic. Not even Chris Hansen got that long with him. So, okay? There you go. That's all I'm saying. Like, I've done some shit, you know? I interviewed Frank Stallone, but I took it off my channel because he was so dumb. Sorry. And allegedly, his brother fucks dolphins. Allegedly. 
And I got some news after I put that interview up from a couple female friends that I've known in Hollywood for a while that had said allegedly there were some agreements that were signed and Sly Stallone has plenty of them out there where he has quieted girls with money. Allegedly. And some of these scientists travel in the same circles betwixt Epstein, Nygaard, you know, the French guy, Jean Paul. I can't remember his name right now, but I did a video on him. He's He was done, done in the same way, done, did himself the same way as Epstein. Okay, that all makes sense. Yes, there are allegations that he graped an underage girl. I think it was either in one of the gambling towns, Vegas or Atlantic City. She did not say who cares. Come on, really? She said who cares? Yeah, I've made my, my opinion is that I, I look, my opinion can change. All right. When I first saw it, I was thought I saw this little old lady in there. And now I see that she's with Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell. I'm not nice to the right people. So you guys can say or ask anything, you know, even if it gets erased, I could see it back here and I will usually address it. And the food there at La Poubelle is horrible. I've been there, you know. I thought it was just a little much for them to be pros, but now that Ghislaine's lawyer is involved, allegedly, I don't care because I don't like her. She said that she doesn't care that people get raped all the time. That, every, that people get raped all the time. And she said that people get raped all the time. And she said that shit. Ugh, what a fucking dummy. People's drinks get spiked all the time. That, that I agree with. I, look, I'm not saying it's right, but that I agree with. Oh, DOA is smashing Lara. They hint about it all the time. Well, <sighs> all right, good, good, yay, uh, great, uh, yay. Hey, you know. Yeah, good for them. I mean, look, if they're actually uh, two people that are weird enough to met each other, you know, good for them. It doesn't happen to me, but good for them. It can happen to them, which is fine. Doesn't matter. I don't need anything. I am a cactus. I am the Eggman. I'm an island. I am the walrus. Cuckoo kajoo. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> well, I, I just say that to be, you know, when I say allegedly, it means really probably it happens. <laughs> you know, but I get what you're saying. Thank you. Yeah. And that uh, Jessica out there, she's consistent, but you know what? They're all making money streaming. They're sitting there talking about, you know, we don't make money. They are streaming. If you have a thousand, listen. I used to have so many more people watch my live streams before they reported me. the The lowest one in the past few years before I came back from my break was like fifteen hundred people watching my live stream. Yeah. And then I see these people, and they get a thousand. I look at shit in the morning, and I see people pumping out tarot cards. They got three hundred people watching them. Like, uh, and it's and it sounds like shit and they're talking like you know they're chewing gum and they're like uh you know they got the fucking the bonnet on you know what i'm saying just made 30k a month on tiktok well that's that's a lot that's a lot to make on tiktok in in a month 
I don't know about that. That's an extraordinary amount to make on TikTok, but I know she has like a million, something like that. Like, I don't know about that. I hear a lot of things about people, but I also know that I, I know somebody who works at TikTok. So a lot of the people don't make what they say they're making and they don't get paid. A lot of them don't get fucking paid. So TikTok is, in my opinion, I don't like TikTok. There's plenty of social media apps out there. I never liked TikTok. I don't use TikTok. I have a channel on TikTok and I uploaded a couple little things on there just to like bookmark it, you know? Jessica Palmdessa is actually attractive. She's not bad, you know? I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't toss her. She got that fat ass though. She got that fat ass. I like that fat ass. I'm a sucker for that fat ass. Only Ngram, is that the new Scientology site? That's a new one. Yeah, it's going to be really, really, they, they think about, uh, you only, they think about masturbation with you. <laughs> Jessica had 1.2 million viewers. Whoa. How many people at once were watching her lives on TikTok? Does anybody know? See, I can see why they don't want to lose it. But I got to say, I've never liked TikTok. And a lot of people I can't stand, like, focus and their shit is all up on, over TikTok. Because that's all they use. So, I hope TikTok burns like a dry barn in July. I've just never been a fan. I don't like the little fucking dances. When the nurses came out and did the shit, it was like, you kidding me? was it what do you say oh what jeffrey augustine lives up the road from la pubel that is true he lives in an area called los Feliz, which is public information people hinted on his channel that they think that doa is getting lara into heavier drugs than just pot well you know I mean, it's just like, I mean, it does seem like there are a lot heavier drugs going on there than just pot. I mean, they are standing out there for, sometimes they're, they're streaming all fucking day, all day. It's become DOA's job. So again he's a professional protester whatever that means so he's living the fucking dream he is van life all day i've seen some nice fucking vans like uh, you know i wouldn't mind like going out in a motor home for a couple fucking months or something but i don't know the rest of my life but uh you know definitely you know try it for a couple months out there maybe like a nice motor home or something like that yeah that's very true scott that's another thing i didn't like about the algorithm there is that they're showing the kids about science projects and how to and team stuff and here it's the dumbass dances you know uh i don't know who skateboard guy is i've only i've heard the word skateboard guy once before i don't know who like and is that even real what you're saying a recruitment interview with osa okay like is that even a thing is that how they i would figure that you got to be sea org to be osa you know like why would they recruit someone that they can't control you know and that's another thing they said for like months that i was osa which there's no just like and someone mentioned nora earlier she's not shown one goddamn receipt about a thing she said about me that the only things that are that she said about me were when she mocked my drug problems, right? She went, wah, 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 drug problem, didn't make it in Hollywood, you know, because she's a fat piece of shit who's going to eat herself uh, right into the ground. People in the live stream. Jeffrey asked if they had proof or evidence. So he's in, he's sitting there engaging with them, talking about their drug. They oh, so everybody rats to Jeffrey. Jeffrey's like the freaking house mom. He's such a fucking piece of fucking garbage. <laughs> what a pussy. 
What a pussy. He talks such big fucking shit. Get in the ring with me, Jeffrey. If you're such a big talker. We're we're about the same age, right? We're about the same age. You're probably you're probably taller than me. You're probably bigger than me. I'll fucking I'll fucking get in there. Let's do a little let's do a little dance in the ring. Can you imagine? That we would break the internet, Jeffrey. Okay? And uh, you know, uh, you're a piece of shit. Sorry. And your goblin wife. I live in the trees. <laughs> he does look like Ron Jeremy. Skateboard guy is shenanigan and was a protester who harassed Jess and had a falling out with streets. An OSA security guy came up to him on his live and said they wanted him to help them. But wait, what do you mean OSA security guy? Those are two different terms. Like security at Scientology, like just those guys in the uniforms. I don't think those are OSA guys. Those are just like... And some of the ones in the uniform, like, I, I just, but they are Sea Org. Oh, and I guess, I don't know if Sea Org are automatically OSA, but from what I was told, OSA owns the Sea Org. <laughs> you know, ding, 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 ding. If you ever go to a Middle Eastern wedding or Indian wedding or anything like that, I'm going to teach you two dance moves right now that are going to help you. Ready? <clears throat> Here are those two dance moves. Light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs, okay? Light bulbs, light bulbs. Then bake the bread, 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 bake the bread. Light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs light bulbs and then you got to go with one hand on the hip and then one light bulb light bulb light bulb light bulb light bulb make the bread make the bread make the bread make the bread light bulbs ding 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 see okay osa and a security guy both approach that guy okay but what i'm asking is how do we know that they're representing osa that's what i want to know Like, how do we know that they're Osa? I don't know that I'm Osa. How could you tell that someone else is? I don't even know that I am. How am I supposed to tell if someone else is if I can't even tell that I am or not? Have I drank all my goddamn liquids? So everybody remember those dance moves. I mean, maybe they wanted to help them because they saw something. They saw him take some pictures. I don't know. That that could be taken so many different ways, you know? Yeah, I, how am I supposed to tell if someone else is? I don't know. Yeah, they, they think Ivor Zosa, then John Atak is on the board. Is he bringing his Ouija board and uh, for that board? What is he on the Ouija board? Is that his... John Atak is on the Ouija board of Aftermath. Are you kidding me? John Atak? And uh, Mally had commented earlier. She's like, he didn't hurt anyone. He didn't do anything. But I'm like, he is. 80 goddamn pounds soaking wet. I'm not worried about John Atak physically. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What, what Ivor said. I'm that Osa, you're Osa. Wouldn't you like to be an Osa to be an Osa? Hang up, Osa. Oh, be a Osa. I'm a Osa. You're a Osa. She's a Osa. He's a Osa. Wouldn't you like to be a Osa too? Okay. I'm looking for something right now. Excuse me for one moment. Enjoy the music. Oh, no, that's Coke. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. Okay. 
Okay, here it is. Now we're talking about Dr. Pepper. We're talking about a lot of things here. Right? A lot of different stuff going on. But you got to understand the originals. All right? You have to respect the OG shit. Or else you're nothing. You're a fucking nobody. All right? You're shit. You're garbage. Now this is what I'm talking about. All right? Dr. Pepper commercial. All right, this is like from the 80s. So let's get down with the OG Dr. Pepper, even one. All right, here we go. I drink Dr. Pepper, don't you see? Because it's the perfect taste for me. That original taste, you know, you know, is making peppers everywhere I go. Toting peppers, toting peppers, cooking peppers, good-looking peppers. Wouldn't you like to be an ocean, too? You know, us peppers are an interesting breed. An original oh, taste is what we need. Yeah. Ask any pepper and he'll say, Only Dr. Pepper tastes that way. There's carrying peppers, marrying peppers, dying peppers, wine peppers. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? No, no, no. There's saluting peppers, tooting peppers. I'm gonna pepper man. I'm gonna pepper man. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? I'm gonna pepper man. 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 I'm gonna I'm a Osa, you're a Osa, she's a Osa, he's a Osa. Wouldn't you like to be a Osa, do? Clip it. Fucking. Fresh Dr. Pepper floats. The Dr. Pepper factory is in Waco, Texas. Hmm. A couple things in Waco, Texas. Okay. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Gotta get them dollars. 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 You gotta eat, get money. get money. New shoes for your feet, get money. Get money. You want a sense and a piece, get money. get money. You want a party with the freaks, get money. Get money, get money, get money. Get money. And I'm not fat. These guys turn real stunning in the flash. I'm not fat, all right? I'm not fat. They're like, oh, you aren't even fat. I'm not fat. Mm. Hello, Blenda. You're a good witch. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Probably not a witch at all. Just imagining. I'm clipping that and sending it to DOA. Now, this Dr. Pepper factory, these Dr. Pepper floats, I'm intrigued. I don't drink soda, but I'm intrigued. A uh, proper root beer is not soda, by the way. Not made the same way. Same with ginger beer, ginger ale. They're different things. The offended social a-holes cl a club. <laughs> Scott Bayo is actually a very, very nice man. We follow each other on Twitter. I've known Scott for a long time. We used to play golf together a long time ago at a place called Woodson. He no longer lives in California. He has a lovely family. He was not a drug addicted fucking idiot. He saved his money. He invested it, spent it wisely, has a lovely home, a lovely wife, and a lovely daughter who happens to be a golf champion. So good for him. Hey, wow, who gave away, whoa, 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 who gave up some gifts, some gifted membies? Let me roll back. Holy smoke, Anna, the inbred Nazi, giving up five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. 
Soulless Ginger, you get a membership. Kirsten Iverson, you sound like a basketball player. You get a membership, Kirsten Iverson. Welcome here. We're gonna we're gonna put you all up on the board. All right, all right. So if your other communities are watching, you got caught here. Well, they're gonna throw you out. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Kirsten Iverson, Jen Gump. Welcome. Welcome. Jen Gump sounds like a one of the a Amanda Jean. Some of these sound like troll accounts, but that's okay. You'll get to see what's going on in the back. And a lot of people have changed their mind once they get into that membership area. Uh no, Fred, that was actually something that was never proven uh in court. Uh, it's that's just another one of these unfortunate things that happens, you know. Oh, I know you're not soulless. You talk a lot. We like that. We like when you engage. And by the way, thank you, Anna the Inbred Nazi, for being a member for four months. Right, Dr. Pepper is a delicious mystery elixir. I know. What is it? Does anybody even know what it is? What is that? Didn't Scott Bale? Uh, yeah, uh, there was the actress. Uh, I forget what her name was, but it was never proven. You know, he wasn't even interviewed by police about it. So just another unfortunate situation where someone was really just trying to, you know, look, I don't believe everyone. Isn't Scott Bale a MAGA lunatic? I wouldn't say that. I would say he's just uh, just north of the middle on conservative. Uh, as if I was to put him in a box like that, but I, I really don't think that. I just think a lot of people right now are anti what's going on right now in this country. And you know, we could talk about it a little bit. I don't mind talking about it a little bit, but um, I would say that I don't like what's going on in the country now. You know, the policies, the border, all this shit happening. We can't be letting all these people in, in my opinion. My family came here legally. You know, they came through Ellis Island. For fuck's sake. So, I would say that he is definitely on the conservative side. I I, I wouldn't call him a, um, a MAGA lunatic. You know? But I'm I'm in the you know the same thing with Joe Rogan and all, a lot of those other people right now you know even Michael Rappaport is saying he can't go he can't go Biden you know because of what's happening how irresponsible is this president that we have right now to let all these people across the border like this my opinion based oh no. Love wins. We're actually kind of like talking about them. This isn't that actual thing. I was on there once, but we had our differences. So I talk about those differences, but welcome. <coughs> we are talking about those players in that thing, in the clout chasing IRL streaming group. But hey, look, if people like it and if people want to watch it, I never tell people what to watch and what not to watch. I do sometimes tell people if I've unsubscribed from something, but that doesn't mean I'm telling people to or not. I don't like sodas, but I drink carbonated juices. Now, first of all, okay, they're, because they're two different animals completely, and there's only really one. Yeah, I mean, you know, you'll you'll find links, and I would say Love Wins, just sort of listen to everybody. Some of these communities are really, you get nervous when people come and listen to pages like mine because I talk about people from an objective point of view. I don't like Scientology or any cult, but I also don't like the people in the ex-Scientology community. I don't trust anybody who's ever been involved in Scientology, you know, and that includes the exes. So forgive me, but they're all nuts, especially if they were raised in it. They're all broken. You're very welcome. Thank you. Subscribe, you know, some good stuff. You get a membership. I got a lot of good shit in the back behind the paywall, but I also have a, over 500 videos out here for free. And, uh, you know, I do what I can, Solis Ginger. I mean, look, the truth is, the problem with the truth is like, it's, it's like that briefcase. 
in Pulp Fiction, right? The briefcase that they open up. It's it's hidden. It's not something that many will be able to do, you know. Um, or understand or get close to. So I believe that there is a perimeter or a cover around actual truth, and you don't get to it unless you get to the people that were actually in the situation that discuss it. And I believe that truth comes out when two people from opposing sides start to talk about it. Because there's two sides to a story, and then there's the truth, you know? It's usually somewhere in the middle. I mean, I just try my best. There's certain things I like to talk about, and if it catches my interest, then if somebody, like, you know, rubs me the wrong way, then I'm 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 not going to be any nice about it. <laughs> you know. Hold on a second. I don't know why that happens. One moment, please. Okay. Now, if I close this screen and leave, and we got this guy up and running here. Give me a five by five if you could hear me, guys. I just had to switch something up. I am not a former Scientologist. I I I would do what you said, dabbled. I went by Celebrity Center. I dipped into a couple courses, never completed them, but I saw some stuff there, you know. But no, definitely not an ex-Scientologist. That's a good question. So, like I said, you know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, is my name Aaron Smith Levin? I love this one. I love this. I love this. Love wins. I love you. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's funny. It's funny. See, I can handle it. Like, uh, you know, it's. I get it. It's fine. Yeah, they don't. They didn't like the way I made fun of them and talked about them, so they came at me with doxing because they don't have the intelligence to clap back and make fun of me just as I'm here, like I like I know how to do. You know what I'm saying? And then when they started to dox me and they started to do it from their jobs, well, I called a couple of their fucking jobs, and I think I got a couple of them fired or moved on or suspended, and I would do it the fuck again. Okay, let's. See. Oh, Glinda the Good Witch. Ah, okay, no problem. No, I want to be corrected. Correct me. Um, correct me and whip me with things and tell me I'm wrong and that I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> that I'm a bad dog and put me in the corner. You ever see this fucking chick? She's a streamer and she's living like a dog. Have you seen this shit yet? Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty good summation of it yes they decided when i called them out on some things that they were going to make sure that they dox my family harass them tried to go after minor members of my family and find them they're a bunch of fucking ghouls and goblins so i went after them with a whole bunch of shit you know and just you know <laughs> it is funny christy that she they look if, if she's not a troll and she doesn't know he or she doesn't know. They don't know. It's fine. That's possible. But that was a fantastic question. I'm going to screenshot that. I assure you, I am much better looking. I am smarter. And I'm actually a human being. I wasn't raised by a cult. Well, my name is Tony. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm Tony D, your host. This is the Zero Dark Tony channel. And make sure you subscribe if you guys... Uh... <laughs> 
Who specifically went after me? I'm going to give you an answer. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to give you an answer. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I am going to show you. I can let someone explain it to you. It would be far better explaining it than me. I told you. Manny. Who came after me? Who came after me? Everyone! <laughs> That's who came after me. You know what? We didn't have the volume up high enough for that one. I think we got to hear that again. Benny, bring everyone. I told you. Benny, bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? <laughs> they all came after me. Okay. I mean, name one of them. Yes. All of them. You know? Yeah, well, you know, that's the internet love wins. What can you say? You're dealing with a controversial community, a controversial topic. People are heated about it. Have a good night, though. Sorry, I'm not massaging your feet for you. You know, your little dainty fuck face. The fuck out of here. I was polite to you. You know, be done here then. Be done and go. Nobody needs to, you know. Well, all I could say, Fred Lors, is that I have plenty of videos about it. You can go back, like, to go and explain the last eight months is really a tall order. Yeah, and they mentioned me in a, in, a, in a lawsuit. They tried to sue me and serve a <coughs> restraining order against me, but they went to the wrong address, you know? Mm. A, a, a um, vexatious and perjurious lawsuit to extort money from me, you know? <coughs> 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 well, let me show you. I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll pull up the article. Um, it's um, let me see here. Okay, here I'll show you the article. Like, people don't realize this, that I was actually put in this fucking case, you know, and that they filed legal fucking papers against me, you know? And I will say this, Toucans, that that's going to be a cold fucking day in hell before that happens, okay? Under the circumstances, especially with big mouths like you. Bye. So, you all can mention it all you want. It's none of your fucking business. And I'll tell you, keep mentioning it. You're just making it fucking worse. Because I already explained this, and I'm not doing it again. I fucking did what I had to do. It is what it is. And I'm not going to fucking sit here and cry baby with anybody about it. If you don't like it, come fucking do something. If you don't like it, come do something about it, you little bitch. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Sean Matthew. 
I don't know. I don't watch Tommy, but somebody who I think would have told me, you know, would have mentioned it, you know. Two cans. It's like two cans. Sam. He was like he's the guy on the cereal. He's drunk. But I've never heard him address it. No. Yeah, there are Sean. There are people in here that watch him that out of the inbred Nazi would know. It would have gotten around. You know what I mean? It would have gotten around. I, I don't. Yeah, like people like that don't bother me. Like the point is, is that the answer is this: is that no, as it stands right now, the current situation. I'm not giving anybody fucking anything until I am satisfied with my side of this situation. And that's it. It's a very simple solution. I've put it out there on the table and it's there. If nobody wants to pick it up off the table, then I don't have to do a fucking thing. Especially with what I was prepared to do for a particular individual, which I'm not going to talk about, and it's none of your fucking business. But if you knew my entire side of the story, you would shut the fuck right up. So there's that. So here we go. The article for Fred that I'm going to show. Sorry for the distraction there. Hi, Fred. But here is the sworn testimony from Leia Remini's lawsuit and talking about harassment from Scientology. Now, <clears throat> this is a sworn declaration on the underground bunker, which is Tony Ortega's site. He does not make any money off of this site. Uh, my understanding that is he, uh, Karen De La Carriere is his sugar mama and pays for him to do her bidding. So, which we've talked about before here too. I've got a lot of really scathing videos on these people that if you just go back and look in the past eight months, you'll see them, you know? And you'll see the people's names, you'll see them on the thumbnail. You could also go through the, um, do search words in the transcript if you don't wanna watch the whole video, save yourself some time. Also, to let you guys know who haven't watched my videos before, since they are live streams and my notifications, a lot of people don't get them. I do have a long intro, but you know, there's music there and stuff like that. So. You know, just to let you know, the intros are long. Don't you sass me about my intros. I need to get, I need to get, I need to get in the, in the, in the zone to do this. You know, the auto zone. Okay. You don't, you don't even know about the auto zone. Right? You know what you do know. Air safe light replace. That's where Nora used to work. Nora is so skilled, she could replace windshields with her third grade education. <sighs> um, okay, Tommy Tugboat has an AKA. That's actually his real name. If you're talking about Brett Miller. Yes. yes. Did you just get here, Dreamer? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I have a lot of videos about Tommy as well. Well, not a lot, but a few. Karen got the butterfly milk and the tasty cakes. We like spicy. Good questions. Those are not, those are not, you know. There it is. Okay. So yeah, when you when you're talking about these people and and those articles that you talk about, let me just show you the rest of this one. Hold on before we get. Okay, so this is a declaration of of Hammer Headley, Claire Hammer Headley. Remember when we talked about this piece of shit scumbag bitch Claire Headley, you fucking piece of garbage? When you could have just fucking called me directly. You 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 fucking people know that I'm not in any way, shape, or form involved with this fucking place. But you put it in this declaration. You perjured yourself. Fucking idiot. Ugh. Okay, so anyway. Here's her declaration. This is a sworn declaration. Let's go down here a little bit to number... 12. Additionally, this is her words. Putting me on a sworn dec declaration on a website that international papers get picked up on. 
So now I would become by proxy a target of people's hostility and violence just from my fucking being put on this. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? These people play dirty. Claire is the dirtiest bitch of all. All right. So here we go. Additionally, we're aware there was someone going by the name of Zero Dark Tony on YouTube who is telling people to donate and then demand refunds. I never said that. He has also been going through all state registration forms in a great detail on his channel, attacking the foundation. Also a lie. I didn't go through any of the forms. What I looked at was Jeffrey's shit. I looked at Karen's shit to show you that she's making millions of dollars from selling these fucking paintings that are counterfeit. I showed you. I showed you everything. And the reason why they don't want you to watch me is because of what I've showed you. And this is a sworn declaration. And let's look down at the bottom of what it says. I declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of California that the foregoing is true and correct. She's a fucking liar. She's a fucking sack of fucking shit fucking liar. Didn't even live on the base that they talked about. It says in the court papers. So this is what the fuck they do. Fred, now you sound like a fucking idiot. Okay? Shut up. Now that's now now you're just fucking now you're just a fucking dumbass fucking troll. Are you fucking kidding me? Where would they get the idea that I'm against the Aftermath Foundation? You're fucking fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Go do some fucking research. Like, leave. Leave the chat. Time you out. <clears throat> yeah, again, your fifth thing. I, I knew this was the troll when they came in there. I am so soft, but you ask stupid fucking questions. Like, you're dumb. You know what I mean? Like, you're asking dumb questions intentionally. I'm soft. I just don't want you in here. You're annoying. So now you go. Well, I'm soft. Please. What are you, a little fucking girl? I'm soft. Please. Five. Five. That's five profiles. I own you, son. I own you. I'm soft. You're a bitch. That yeah, wasn't even really a troll. There was actually those are some questions that gave some good conversation. Some of them, but then toward the end, he just fell off. He just fell off. He can't handle. It. I'm soft. It's just like I'm soft. Did, did, I don't. I don't recall anybody throwing anything hard at me. You know. Yeah, fuck it. Like, that's his fifth his fifth thing that he claims was blocked. Go get your sixth one. I mean, I told you guys, as soon as he came in here, I was like, that's the fifth one. Didn't I tell you that? Go back. I knew it was the whole fucking time. I was just waiting for something stupid to happen, and I thought it was going to happen earlier. I've been doing this a while. Yeah, thanks for the watch time, dog. Like, from different fucking accounts and shit, watching my shit. That's awesome. Thank you. Five different accounts watching my stuff tonight. I'm happier than I had when I, I'm, I'm happier at 38 people than I was at 41. <laughs> and honestly, like to get on here and shit and be on camera and be on a mic, like I've been doing this all my life, man. This is easy for me. You know, obviously you could see that I am not uncomfortable expressing myself in this medium. Yeah, I don't block people right off the bat. They have to earn it, you know? Oh, wait, no, leave him, leave him there. No, leave him, don't block him, don't block him. Don't block him, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I'm soft as Charmin. Who has, who has, um, 
who has uh five accounts on youtube that aren't active accounts of some kind of concept or idea who has five just troll accounts a fucking loser holy shit five accounts keep coming back into the same chat <laughs> I'm soft. You you don't life. You don't know life. I'm soft. Fucking shit. Thank you for unhiding him. Yeah, come back, Fred Lors. Are you I'm soft as Charmin? Nobody watches you. You know. No, I didn't get mad. You're soft. You're the same fucking troll as before. You're using the same words. Why do you think you're fooling me? Yes, exactly, Pren. Exactly. I mean, is this... It does seem like Jeffrey. Like a Jeffrey thing. Because Jeffrey's a bitch. And when you talk about him, and that's what he'll do. He'll try and, like, think he's outsmart you, outfox you. Fred Lores. You know, I gotta admit, you know, I am interesting. You know, I am interesting. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey has like probably like 10 phones. Uh, I don't know who Tori Crispin is. Who is that? Oh, more moth milk. It is butterfly milk. <laughs> we all know this. You know what? You're trolling now. Now you're trolling. Everybody's trolling. <laughs> is everybody trolling now? He keeps calling moth milk. Those are butterflies. They're just not big. A moth is a smaller butterfly. <laughs> Jeff Swifty. He thinks he's like a fucking old gumshoe from like the 30s, you know, like smoking a cigarette with the hat underneath the light. He's a fucking idiot. And he's a pussy ass bitch. He is a guy who would never stand up to anybody. The only way he could stand up to somebody is probably with a gun. He probably can't fight. You know, he's been he's been the pick me all his life and he has to marry this ghoulish you know, Provocator whore. Provoca whore. Yeah, I'm I am I'm actually quite mellow. You know. Oh Fred, I haven't flown flown into a rage, honey. It's okay though, you can stay. You can keep trying. If you think Tony is cruising when it comes to going off and just, you know, money. yeah, they, they all kind of go off at, at the people and they're pretty hard. One butterfly makes 300 cups of milk. I don't know if it's 300 cups. I would say 150. I'm going to go half. I'm going to go half on this one. Okay, there's a good question. What do you guys think of this? If a butterfly makes 300 cups of milk and a moth makes what, then the moth makes what if they've traveled 100 miles at 40 miles per hour what does moth milk make what so i'm gonna go with what you mean is this like a career stat is this like a batting average for a baseball player over the course of time if one butterfly makes 300 cups of milk what would a moth make i'm going half i'm going half i'm going one actually you know what what if it's the opposite what if it's 50 more hmm? uh, what if the what if, what if the moth milk is more concentrated because it's more packed in? You know, it's like, hmm, hmm. This is not a joke to me, Betsy Sue. I take this. I take. I take the the milk of the flying insects very seriously. Very seriously. We we, we cannot under under um, under load under brush undercome you can't undercome here you can't undercome you have to what's the opposite of undercome that's right overcome appreciate it moths can get very big i've seen them pick up goats
I just asked you a question. No, you asked like five questions that are basic questions that people needed to know. And then the sixth one just didn't. You really didn't just step up to the T on that one. It was a bad question. I'm just telling you. People say there are no dumb questions. I say that Fred can give you an example of a few. And that's fine. Overcome. That's right. Well, not only do they pick up the goats, but they bring them back to their lair. And they, and they fucking, man. You ever hear a goat scream like that? Okay. In the silence of the lambs, you ever hear silence of the moths? Silence of the goats? I heard the goats, they were Clarice. See, that's kind of where the Karen thing came from. Well, I think Scott has the answer. He's not going to do it. His actual words to the people that donated him money were, you can all go fuck yourselves. Oh, DOA is off his medication and self-medicates with stuff dropped to him by a kid on a bike. Really? Can I tell you guys just a little secret? You want to know a little secret? I'm going to tell you. Nobody's going to know. I went and got ice cream over there the other night and met a friend of mine who lives over there. My boy's got his studios like right there up the street. He hates them. He can't stand any of them. But hey, look. I will tell them that this is a Jelaine Maxwell lawyer and that might change the tune of them. Some of them are with them for the protest. Some of them are not. You know, it's, I don't know if it's 50-50. I just know, I know a couple people over there. And one of them happens to have a studio. Um, you know, well, just a vocal studio. And I am working on something with him. So I was literally like 10 feet away from him. It didn't cover my face. It didn't, you know, they just weren't expecting me out there. I had a bandana. But it didn't cover my entire face. Mm. Well, I think there is a scientific mathematical equation for that, um, but I think it's algebraic and... Um, there's some X's and Y's and some values in there that I'm not exactly sure of, you know. <laughs> That's, that is the punchline, is the hang. Like, what? Oh, the GoFundMe for the esophageal cancer. I mean, that's the only guy that has stage four cancer that looks like, uh, you know, he could fuck the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. He doesn't look like sick. He looks like he can get up in there and pound some ass. Wife. Gross. And they don't even acknowledge that they're married to each other on that site. That's deceptive. They all need to publicly sort of disclose like, hey, this is my bio and I'm married to that guy over there. Oh, and I'm married to that guy over there. Did Mark mention that he's married to Claire? I don't think so. I'm not sure, but... I don't think so. I know that's the funniest part to me, Scott. I mean, Sean, is that um, is that uh, I don't hate anybody, Fred. Stop it. I said that. I will get to that question, but I don't hate anybody. Um, I can't stand how pussy protesters. What? What pussy the protesters are, they scream to call. Co yeah, calling the cops every chance they get are the people that are so corrupt. They want to call the cops and get people arrested. You know, this is true. I am a big old teddy bear. That is true. I am. I like peace, man. I really do. I'm not like this fucking hateful guy. I'm, I'm a very boring, quiet person. I don't bother anybody. If this microphone bothers people, 
It ain't illegal, man. I'm not the convicted felon, bank robber, or fucking pedo. Okay? So. Okay, let's see. Which protesters do I hate the most? Don't hate any. And you know what? The thing about hate is this. Hate is a strong emotion. And for me to hate someone, I would have to have feelings for them. So they don't register enough for me to hate them, if that makes sense. I don't have enough feeling for them. Oh, hi, daughter of Sam, over on Kick. So sweet. Oh, yeah, I'm over on Kick too, by the way, guys. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get me on Kick. You gotta kick me. Um, I'm gonna put the it, look. Just get me 75. Uh, I gotta start from the bottom on this one. All right, I gotta start from the beginning. Like. I mean, it's like the newest thing. I'm I'm more nobody over there than on any other platform. I'm the most nobody on kick. Make me as someone. Tag uh, Aiden Ross, because he's one of the owners. Tell him that I want to be an owner. I want to own part of it with him. I will run it better than he will. And he is a gambler. I will gamble. I will roll dice with him. Uh, and, you know. I could show him a thing or two about uh, about being a being a being a fella with that wisdom. These gray hairs aren't free. Yeah, very true about hate. I mean, you have to be passionate about something to hate it. Hate is a passionate thing, you know. Love hate. hate. I disagree that hate is the opposite of love. I think the opposite of love is indifference. I think the opposite of hate is also indifference. There's a strange paradigm, paradox, one of those two. I think it's both. I think it's a paradigm and a paradox. Thank you. Roll dice live. Well, this is a this is a better, this is a much better nomenclature. Annoying is much better. DOA, Lara, FM. Oh my God, confident Chris annoys the shit out of me. Oh my God. Just the way he talks. He's such a little pussy. I'm sorry. He's like, he has no hair on his face. Like, I mean, what is wrong? He's such a little cupcake. And he's walking around out there alone. Someone's just gonna... I don't want anything bad to happen to any of these people. But they're young and they don't realize they're in Los Angeles, California. Okay? This is L.A. And they're in Hollywood. They're the fucking, that's one of the worst parts of LA. I, you know what's safer than LA? I mean, than Hollywood in LA? Anywhere. Anywhere. You can go down the worst parts of the hood, right? If I'm going down to like Compton or Inglewood and I'm going to go to like a, 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 a place I want to get something to eat, right? I feel fine down there. But whenever I go, you know, I don't live in Hollywood anymore, but if I go back over there, it's more dangerous there than anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I understand. I understand. I, I don't. I don't hate him as a person. I hate what he does. I can hate what people do. I'm very passionate against cruelty, and you know, and what you say here, Ivor says ambivalence. I hate ambivalence. You know, make a fucking decision. Right? Stay, say what you say. You can change it. You could be wrong. You could be wrong later. Okay? But if you feel something about something now and say it, you stand on that fucking shit. And then if you got to change it later, you they up. You can't say man up anymore. Woman. You got to they up. So you they up. You they up. And you fucking go, hey, this is my, this is how I feel about it now. You know? Oh, had the tooth. And he's got the earring, like the little earring. He 
he was attacked now see when you say attacked like when they say attacked i don't trust that they've been attacked what happened the other night with streets that was an attack that the guy came up to him and attacked streets physically i didn't see the thing with chris so i can't make a judgment on it When the protesters were only on TikTok, uh, yeah, Dreamer War says, and Lara was on YouTube, she would yell and swear and she would lose their live stream and had to start a new live stream. Just had to restart six times. Yeah. A lot of that's about music, by the way. Um, the, the, the music that they'll play in the background. If you're streaming and you walk by a store, and let's say inside the store, someone's got like a boom box playing Prince, your stream could get knocked down if it even hears that music in the distance so it could be for that uh, reason dreamer I, I don't it's not necessarily about cursing you know you can say faggot on youtube it's not going to get your shit taken down i've seen people say the n-word and they keep going so i don't get the tommy and reese relationship she humiliates her husband and he likes it well maybe he likes it you know maybe he affords her a very comfortable life because he likes being cucked there are guys that like that um, what's that called? Financial domination. Fin doms. Right? You know, maybe he just likes it when she's home for a little bit and she walks on his balls and sticks a couple high heels up his ass with a ball gag in his mouth. Anyone? Oh, there was a TikTok uh, swearing. Well, yeah, I didn't. I don't use TikTok, so I'm not aware of it. You can't swear on TikTok? Wow. Big fuck. Dick, dick, dick cock. Yeah, Tommy's Tommy's obviously working a thing. Tommy is, um, just look back in, in my videos. Tommy is one of the SPTV guys. And I don't even know if he is anymore because wouldn't there be some kind of rift between, between him and Aaron? Aren't there some conflicts there? Like... Vanessa is being helped by the Aftermath Foundation. And um, you know. Dick Puke. That's isn't Dick Puke come? <sighs> is, I'm sorry, Sam, but daughter of Sam. Isn't that just come? Dick puke. You know the joke where, you, where the dick does push-ups and, and the pussy till it throws up? Okay. <laughs> oh, anybody could start an SBTV channel. That's the idea, is that anybody can start it. Anyone. <laughs> I learned it from you. Um, uh, Tommy got helped by Vanessa. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he picked her up at the grape trial. So they're real good guys. They pick up women at grape trials and vulnerable, stupid women. That's funny. This is this is true. This is the wrong door, but they tried to. Tommy is a convicted bank robber that never used a gun to rob a bank, but took one to Tony's house. No, they 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 had the wrong door. I assure you, I assure you, and I'm not fucking kidding that the situation would be much fucking different. Okay, because those people are a threat to me. I see them as a threat. I've announced it publicly that there is a threat. I am afraid of them. I am afraid for my safety when they're around me, especially in a group, individually, but especially in a group, especially armed, right? And who knows who else was or wasn't armed in that group, right? Oh. 
Yeah. Uh, better not. Better fucking not. Try me. Fucking try me. Fucking please try me. <laughs> yes, you call a hold that after the DO oh, when he dressed up like Danny Masterson. Like, who does that? Oh, and also one of them dressed up, one or two of them dressed up like me for Halloween, by the way. For those of you who were new, dressed up like me for Halloween. I'm not angry, Fred. Like, I know you're tr I know you're trying to poke at me to get me angry. You sound more like granny now. And with five fucking things, you sound like one of them. Like, I'm not. I'm actually not angry at all. This is a show. Aaron Smith. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah, the bank robbing thing. It's like, you know, you know, I'm I'm so angry. Yay. Like I, I, I get what you're doing. You you're you need practice, but I get what you're doing. You gotta hit harder if you want my attention. But you're doing okay. I, see, I got my eye on you, you got my attention earlier. So you're in the you're in the circle, you know. Yeah, man. I, I don't ever fault anybody for liking what they want to like. I don't tell anybody what to like. I don't I don't need I don't wanna I don't listen. I don't care to change your mind, Fred Lores. I don't give a fuck about you. Okay? You are words on a screen. It's the way it is, man. So don't take it too personally, but I certainly don't. If you want to like Aaron, totally fine. I got nothing bad to say. Like Aaron. You know, like I said, I do, it's your business and your right of who you like. For me to try and control that would be for me to be psychotic. I would be psychotic if I said to you, if you go on that and I see you there, I'm going to block you. That would be crazy because that would be me trying to control what you think. We can't do that. I would be a hypocrite. Yeah, you won't get a reaction. Well, they had control of the comments. Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't block people for saying something that I don't like. I block people for their negativity and their attitude. Like I explained earlier, the Supreme Court said that pornography is recognized. They know it when they see it. I know shitty when I see it. And if I it gets even near me, I'm done. But you're 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 fine. You're fine. Actually, I don't watch Aaron, so I, I don't watch him. I haven't watched Aaron in a long ass time. This is, uh, oh, oh, you didn't know? Oh, you didn't know that this was the AI Tony show? Right? Sure, lick a old man, sure do it. Yes, right. That's right. There are. There are. I mean, he's got fans, you know? I liked him in the beginning, too. Okay? I have, I have texts on my phone that I'm going to show you from him eventually. And then you'll see who he is. But see, that's why he tells you not to listen to me. Because he doesn't want people to have other opinions. So that's your guy. If that's your guy, that's fine. I am a dinosaur. More of a lick a lot of puss, uh, if you will. A cocosaurus. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there are going to be people that like, like I said, I liked him at first. He's very much like Ted Bundy. He's very charming. Okay. Very charming. There were a lot of uh, sociopaths and narcissists. <coughs> Tight like, <coughs> like Manzano's. <coughs> <laughs> God damn. <coughs> yeah. I mean, they hide it. They don't want people to know about it. They suppress it. 
they are suppressive people because they suppress every bit of information about them that can be questioned. They are critics who don't want critics. I don't care about the ruling. I'm just talking about the phrase. You know it when you see it. It's, you know, thank you for Googling it for me. Appreciate it. That's ironic that it's Miller. That case was Miller v. California. Because that's uh, Tommy's real last name. Yeah, see, a lot of people that are here found me from that channel. Because people are curious. And whether people subscribe or not, whether people check in the chat, you know, I got to say that even if someone's coming in here like Fred, Fred does have some balls to at least, you know, come out and talk on this channel. Some people are too afraid to. They're just sitting back there watching, you know. And that's fine. But a lot of them are either the people that I'm talking about and Fred, if you think that Mike Render is not watching right now, and that some and and that you know, like at least a dozen of those fucking people aren't watching me right now, you're out of your tree, baby, because they are. What are the five tenets of the First Amendment then? Right now. Don't look it up. You know. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you're looking it up. That's all right, though. Yeah. No, that's not. That's not it. But you're close. You're close. It's not redress of grievance. Fucking idiot. It's petition. Okay. It's called RAPS. R A P P S. That's the acronym for the five tenets of the First Amendment. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Don't pretend you're smart and try and do that shit because now I know you're fucking dumb. Okay petition for the redress of grievances to a government it's petition it's not redress the acronym is raps press and petition okay religion assembly petition press speech raps look it up well fucking tell me about the first amendment dog okay it's not redress of grievances it's petition the right to petition they're the rights redress is not your right the right to petition because you don't get the redress without the petition fucking hell who took what post down who is this dreamer where are you dreamer zero had to oh let me put this one in the box Zero had the receipts on everything he said about you can call me Tony. He said about Aaron, but Aaron denied it all until he got sacked for the things Zero exposed. That's true. Then they doxed him on all his crimes. Then they took down their post. Huh? It is what it is. It is what it is. I am telling you what it is. I'm teaching you something, but you don't want to learn because you think you're right and you're not directable. So I'm just telling you what it actually is. R-A-P-P-S, raps. I am not wrong, sir. The Aftermath Foundation took down what post? Let me look back. Was it that last one? Okay, yeah. So, oh yeah, then they took down their post. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, people took down posts that were put up about me. Let's just put it that way. Let's not. We don't need to get into detail. I don't. I don't want to. You know, 
Like I want I I made I made the comments about it earlier. That's right. Religion, assembly, press, petition, and speech. I will petition right now. I'll sign my own. I've I did a petition. I'll petition you. You want a petition? How do you want that petition done? You like it medium rare? Would you like that with a side of fries? <laughs> it's not that serious though. Well, there's a lot of spectrum going on here tonight. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of spectrum happening. Well, must be a pretty thin book then if you don't know raps. Like if you don't know raps, then you really don't know shit about the First Amendment. I mean, you you want to keep you want to keep uh, going. I mean, that's fine. I find it interesting. You're still talking about the steak. Are you still worried about my steak and my smoke or my steak? You're very sweet. Special caps. Yeah, I could get a cap. I can get a smoke or cap, a shower cap. How about one of those bonnets? Yes, it's a process. It's a petition that you have to get to redress the government, but you have to create the petition. Okay? That's that's court. All right? It's redressing the government. Petition. Filing lawsuits. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? That's just one example of petition. King Henry died because he drank chocolate milk. Not this, not the chocolate milk I have. Don't you? How dare? How dare Henry? Uh, Henry, you know, shot to the heart, and you, you're to blame. You give chocolate milk a bad name. <laughs> Yes. Well, you, what, did you fall asleep after the steak? Yeah, I've been off for almost three hours. Holy smoke. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Mm, mm, mm. I honestly believe that AF was right, Aftermath Foundation was right to remove Aaron from Glenda Stevenson here. He did a lot of stupid shit that was embarrassing to the foundation. I would have fired him too. Well, you know, I mean, there's conduct. And when you're in a position where you're like rescuing people, I would believe that there would be a code of conduct. I mean, I don't see how that's out of line, you know? Hey, he has a degree. Oh, yes, he has a degree. Hold on. Only on the internet does a clown with 34 viewers try to correct a published legal FA scholar. Well, you don't know raps, dog, so I don't give a shit what you think you know. You don't know raps. You don't know what the fuck the First Amendment is, or what it is to talk about it, or the legal system, or anything. So I don't know what the fuck you wrote, but you probably wrote it with crayons. If you don't know raps, dude, like, I don't give a fuck what you did, okay? It's the same thing if someone's like, oh, I was a movie director. Ever see The Godfather? Nope. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. I don't care how you quantify it. Oh, Fred is fantastic. Uh, Pren, I don't know. Fred is bringing some heat. Fred's bringing the heat tonight. You know? You you are, well, what Daughter of Sam is saying, that she's concerned about my meat and my smoke. Okay? Which, you know, I don't mind. He has a PhD, a play a hater degree. <laughs> Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Fred will use his real name or show his real picture. No, I didn't say that. I said the first part of that process of redressing the government is petition. That's what I said. Again, you're not listening. You're fucking dumb. You want to you wanna string up that tennis racket again and whack another one at me? You fucktard. <laughs> I mean, I love you, but you're dumb. Because you didn't listen to me. Go back. 
At first, I loved Aaron. Oh, I loved Aaron. I thought Aaron was great. And you hated me. Fantastic. And I didn't believe it. Believe what he said about Aaron. But now that the truth is out, I think Tony is the truth teller. Aaron is a narcissist and egomaniac. Well, thank you very much. I'm not going back. You go back. Okay? I don't need to prove the negative. You are. Whatever. Uh, see? This is the perfect level, Fred. You're at the perfect level. I just got to tell you. Perfect. Right where you are right now is a perfect pocket. We're good. You know, slightly irritated, but not hostile. And I'm talking about me. So perfect. Perfect. I'm saying you have reached a stasis. Uh, you're a constitutional scholar, so you should know what that means. You roll the tape. 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 <laughs> I know you only said it once, but you roll the tape. King Henry died because he drank chocolate milk is indeed. This is what a lot of people don't know. This is one of those um, secrets like Egyptian, like the, uh, you know, hieroglyphics. You roll the tape. 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 Hey, Fred. Roll the tape. Want me to roll the tape on my own show? The fuck are you? The fucking... The fucking producer? Huh? What are you, fucking... Johnny Sunshine over there? Fucking... Fiddlesk. That's what we should watch. That'll put everything straight. We are going to set the record straight here. Especially with Fred, because Fred don't know what I'm about to show. Fred don't know what I'm about to show. You lose. Again, you're not as wicked as you think. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Fred, roll the tape. What does this guy think he's an Indian? What is he, a goddamn asshole? What the fuck is he doing? Yes, the right to petition for the redress of grievance. Do you not understand how fu how you got to... No, you, you obviously don't. You're still on with this. Raps. Okay, whatever you're saying, raps. Redress is not one of them. Religion is the R, not raps. Okay? So, it's funny. Like, you really, you really are a spurg, but. Not ever. No way. Okay, so here's what happened. The guy's on frying his brains out on acid. Okay? And his friend just records him in a closet. This is somebody on acid in a closet. And then someone made the cartoon to go with the audio. All right. What does this guy think he's an Indian? <laughs> what is he, a goddamn asshole? What the fuck is he doing? This is drinking out of cup, the classic. Not ever. No way. Now he's Johnny Hammersticks. Johnny Hammersticks. I'm running away like he's freaking Tommy Noble. What the hell is he doing? Thinks she's thinks she's got it going bossing over. No way. <laughs> no way. What is this garbage? What is this? Oh, I'm king of the trees. I'm the tree meister. 
to count on them. <laughs> what sometimes I pry, I like to steal. St yeah, right. Yeah, right. This guy's a faggot. Guy's some sort of faggot Indian in the teepee. Ooh, this guy thinks he's Captain Knots. Thinks he's Captain Tying Knots. When everyone needs some knots tied, they go to him. Bullshit. Bullshit, they s Bull- This woman's such a bitch. Thinks he's Miss Sand. Drinking out of cups. Being a bitch. I bet her fist. I bet her fatalisk. Burned. Pat her a little kid in the background. Fucking going crazy. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, this used to crack me up, dog. Mr. Balloons. Mr. Balloon, Mr. Hands. balloon hands. <laughs> no way. No way. Nice. Get real. Like those things. Mr. Walkway. Mr. Walk down me, I'm the walkway. Lead me to the building. Fuck you. <laughs> Five, six, four, three. Yeah, right. Yeah, You're some right. stupid bitch. I paid connect. for that floor. Not me. No way. Never be for no floor ever again. <laughs> not once. Not never. <laughs> nope. Whose chair is that? Not my Who bought that goddamn chair? That's yeah, not my chair. Not my chair, not my problem. That's what I say. No way. Stupid dresses. Stupid flowers. Lighthouses rule. <laughs> if you don't like the lighthouse, you suck. You suck if you don't like lighthouse. What is this, seahorse captain? What is this, seahorse seashell party? Who didn't invite me? Why didn't I get invited, seahorse sea hell? What is this? Get real. I'm in love with seahorses. I'm in love with them. They're so beautiful and cute. I'm in love with the seahorses. They're fucking unreal. I love them. They're like all the clocks. I love them. I love seahorses, and I love looking at them, and I love seashells. I love seashell things. I love things with <laughs> seashells and seahorses on them, like blankets and towels Towels. and little bags. I love them. <laughs> seahorses forever. Seahorses forever. Just remember that, okay? If you're ever in trouble and you're ever, if you ever have strife and worry, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah? That sounds funny. Well, I'm leaving the country. I'm going to become a passport bro. You guys know what a passport bro is? Where the, when you get your passport and you go and find a wife in a foreign country. So you go and you get your passport and... I saw some of the shit going on, like, and I'm looking at videos of it because I'm going to do a story on it. Because I think it's fascinating. Some dudes are just tired of the American women. You know? And they pick up that passport. They're going to go to South America. I've seen a lot of them in, like, Dominican Republic and Chile. I don't, how do you get someone back from that country anyway? You know what I mean? I mean, you got to, you know, you gotta, <laughs> how do you get it back? I mean, you got to fucking... I think you gotta chop them up and reassemble them when you get here. I mean, what the fuck? How do you get them out of the country? You know. I will. I will. I'll. I'll fucking. I'll. I'll peek in your uh, shower. I'll look in your shower in your window. I'll come fly all the way over there. And I'll, a fiance visa? Is that what it's called? No. Is that an American thing? Like you get it from America and then the other countries are like, oh, okay. You gotta, wait. Here's the problem. You gotta arrange that shit before you go. You can't just go up there and show up and go, I gotta, hey, who wants this fiance visa in my pocket? Who's ready to get it? You know what I mean? Like, do they in the in the Vietnam? Do they go to the bar and they're just like, "Hey, which one of you honeys wants this pass? Who wants the golden ticket? <laughs> I'm gonna golden dick it, and you get the golden ticket. Hey, oh, thank you. Get married? At what? Where do you get married? Like, Here's what marriage should be. It should be like a driver's license. You renew it every year. And both of you go and renew it. Some bride website. 
Oh, and it's like an agency and they arrange it for you. What did he go meet like particular women? Like they were already set up. Like, hey, you're going to Vietnam. Here's, you know, here's freaking Susan. We got Susan and we got the, uh, you know, Joanne over here. I'm sure that was their names. Um, it was probably Twee. Twee. I went out, uh, you know, I had uh, I had a big problem one time. I, I actually went out with two Vietnamese girls and they were both fighting over me. It was a real Nguyen Nguyen situation. <laughs> He flew over there and then came back with her. Hold on. What's this? I don't have a window in my shower and I live in an apartment. Going inside easier through a door most of the time. Well, I, I, that's not the way I do things. All right. I, I don't. Doors. <laughs> doors. Like I use a door ever. Doors. Okay, here we go. Here's some. I love soaking in a nice warm bubble bath surrounded by cam candles while drinking champagne. I just hate it when people come home and ask me what I'm doing in their bath. I like that one. Yeah, I got I got fished into that. Yes, I will come in there and I will. Uh, I'll come in the shower and. I'll just be there all of a sudden. I'll just step in the shower out of nowhere. And I will be armed. I'll have two loofahs. I'll be like, I'm gonna fucking loofah them titties. Loofah them big Netherlands knockers. What? It's international crime happening here. Gone too far. I've broken and entered. I've loofah. I've LA'd someone. I've loofah. Not Los Angeles. I've loofah assaulted. You know? Oh, no. I don't know. How do I make a tissue dance? How do you make a tissue dance? I don't know. Go. Oh. All the Dutch girls have big titties, by the way. You got, Because it's it was in a Rod Stewart song. It was in You're In My Heart. The big bosom lady with a Dutch accent who tried to change my point of view. That one? Oh, put a little boogie in it. That's funny. I actually uh, am a dual citizen. I have dual citizenship, so I travel in uh, Europe very easily. I will be dual citizening very soon. You know... got to know what you like you know <clears throat> you know it's a, it's the it's the land of tulips <laughs> of all sorts see what i did there very clever very very clever how's that working out for you what's that big clever? oh turkmenistan for the passport bro see but i think if i went over and 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 trafficked daughter of sam she would be able to travel more freely from the Netherlands. I don't know. Is there travel issues there for you leaving? Because I know that friends of mine that tried to come over from England had trouble. They have to go and go through a whole rigmarole. Um, you know, not so much Italy, a little bit with Italy for a period of time, but not so much anymore. Um, so, you know, different countries have different travel things going on. even after the COVID shit there's some of the restrictions are still there and people are like but hey you know it's not a uh, pandemic anymore but they're still using those same rules and in england boy it's a pain in the ass to get out of that country if you're british if you're not regularly traveling for business you know tulips weed and hookers I would like to find someone that's not a hooker that I could treat like a hooker, that I could pretend every once in a while is just, you know, a hooker. You know what I mean? Gotta mix it up. Gotta mix it up. 
uh, a lady in the streets. Wait, a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. That's what it is. All the stands are pretty lenient. <laughs> like you can just go in, and just jump off the plane. You know what? In in the stands, they make it a lot easier because they have all the girls just waiting by the airport. So you don't have to even go get a hotel. You pick one, get off the plane, pick one like it's a mango, and then go back to your country. No disassembly required. Your uncle married a Ukrainian woman that was 40 years ago. Right on. Crazy bitches. I mean, I'm not saying that about your aunt. I'm saying that about some very specific Ukrainian women. And usually the, the hotter a woman is, the crazier she is. I don't know if you've seen this scale. The hot crazing scale. That's it. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can put this up. <laughs> ah, here it is. Is this the original one? Yes. Don't use ad blockers. I don't use ad blockers because it's a violation of the YouTube uh, stuff. I follow the rules. <laughs> okay. So here we have the originator of the... I don't know if you're familiar with this. Uh, Southern Italian, Sicilian and Italian, mix. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Listen. so this is the universal hot crazy matrix. It's everything a young man needs to know about women. Um, I've developed this on my own over 46 years of living on the earth. So this is how it works. Here we go. You have your crazy axis mm -hmm. and your hot axis. Hot is as usual measured hey, from zero to 10. We're all familiar with that. Crazy is measured from four to 10 because of course there's no such thing as a woman who's not at least four crazy. <laughs> so you got four to 10. This is your hot crazy line right here. Very important that you keep in mind where the hot crazy line is. As a rule, this is your no-go zone. We do not hang around and date and marry women who are not, at least in our mind, a five. Um, so this is your no-go zone. You don't go here. We just rule this out. Life is better this way. <laughs> That's the way it is. All right. Um, this is my theory, okay? I always start someone out at a five, okay? Because if I'm someone I am going to give the benefit of the doubt is just a five. And for me, a lot of the things that go above the five, right, are some of the things that he says, but there are things that you cannot quantify with looks. So the extra points that go above a five for me are not uh, physically related, except the dick sucking part. But that's another story. I think that's a different scale. That's just, you know. Above a five and to about an eight and below the crazy line. Mm -hmm. Right there. This is your fun spot. zone. That's your sweet spot. You can hang out here and, and, and uh, meet these girls and spend time with them. That's your fun zone. But keep in mind, when you're in the fun zone, you want to move out of the fun zone to a more permanent location. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's the fun zone above a five hot below an eight hot and below the crazy line. This well, here's where I've made my mistake. 
means these are most of the time not crazy, okay? Above the danger zone, above the uh, above the crazy line, always in the we have line. the danger zone. I'm always there. This is your redheads, your strippers, anyone named Tiffany. Uh -huh. yeah. um, this is hairdressers. Yeah. This is where this is where your car gets keyed. God damn it, motherfucker! You get a bunny in the pot. Uh, your tires get slashed, and you wind up in jail. There you um, go. God now, damn it! Ah, oh. see. I love the fun zone. The fun zone's great. The danger zone, man. Now, now that we have some of the chart filled in, we got a couple more pieces to put in. But at this point, understand something. This is not a static environment. This is a situation where you have got to uh, use this matrix over time yes. to develop some reliable data. It's mm -hmm. like a dope chart, okay? You ought, because at any moment in time, any woman that you have previously it's a, see if this is a collective all right it's a collective that he's talking about you're bringing it all everything with you okay you can, just because you break something doesn't mean you can't put it in a bag and put it in that sack and move on you got to do it got to look at everything okay now here's my problem my problem is i like the danger zone because something about crazy bitches to me is just like i don't know what it is probably something very fucked up that I'm and that is a repressed memory <laughs> not named Tiffany no Tiffany located on this chart Tiffany. can vanish from that location and appear Tiffany's Amanda's any name that be uh, ends in a all right or starts with K here anywhere else on the chart so what you have to do is over time collect some data and once you have a cluster of data points, you can begin to consider that yeah. reliable. Yes. Yeah. Now, moving on, you have this zone here. This is below the crazy line, above an eight hot, but still, you know, about a seven crazy. Mm -hmm. This is your date zone. Yes. See? You can stay in the date zone indefinitely. These are women that you introduce to your friends and your family. Um, they're, they're good looking and they're reasonably not crazy most of the time, okay? So this is, you can stay here indefinitely. There is no, you don't need to move off of this spot. I'm very comfortable here. I like the fun zone, okay? The fun zone is when you bring it and you could sort of like, you know, uh, yeah, you gotta have some crazy. I love crazy. Crazy girls are good in bed. Um, and they'll do stuff that, you know, just saying, like, you know, a lot of crazy girls have like girlfriends that like to, yeah. Now, above an eight hot and between about a seven and a five crazy, this is your wife zone. Ah, I can't. Okay. When you meet this girl, mm -mm. you should consider a long-term relationship. Uh, this zone is not scaled to size. This this is a this is a representation and not an actual. Okay, above an eight wife. Wait, no, we're in the crazy. No, hold on. I hear this again. If crazy. This is your wife zone. Oh. And between about a seven and a five, crazy, this is your wife zone. Above an eight hot. Okay. And between about a seven and a five, crazy. Yes. This is your wife zone. Yeah. yeah okay. I see. Okay. Like, but... When you meet this girl, you should consider a long term relationship. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this zone is not scaled to size. This, Can this we is just a. It's just is... like one more crazy. Can't we just get a little. Like one more crazy point on the wife zone. Just, just can't we just up that crazy a little bit? It's a representation and not an actual. If this is not a pie chart showing you how many of these people are out there, this is. Because I like to go to the mall and fuck in the dressing room. I mean, I don't know if that's okay with everybody. A, a representation of what that's you're after. Thing. You want to be five, well, like a Walmart. Shut up. Five to seven crazy above an eight hot. That's your wife zone. Okay. Now, below a five crazy and above an eight hot, 
That's a lot. This is your unicorn zone. These things don't exist. Yeah, that's a lot to ask. (laughs) That's a big ask. If you find a unicorn, please capture it safely. Keep it alive. We'd like to study it and maybe look at how to replicate that. Okay. Uh. So I was explaining this to a guy one time, and he said, "Wait a minute." I met this girl, and she's like smoking hot. She's like at least a nine, and she's chill. I would love a boring relationship, okay? Jesus Christ. I've had enough daredevils and excitement and evil Knievels. I like a little excitement, a little bit of crazy. Too much excitement and too much crazy is too much. She's totally cool. She's like not even a three crazy. I said, you're telling me yeah it just doesn't you've met a girl she's a nine hot and she's like a two or a three crazy never he said yeah man i like her a lot i said you should be careful that's a dude you're talking to a tranny (laughs) (laughs) so you got your you got to be careful because down here below a four crazy and above an eight hot you're probably talking to a dude Uh, that is the universal hot crazy matrix fantastic fantastic Braden and has. give uh, give for the give for the kids there. Fantastic! Wow. So there's the hot crazy uh, matrix chart. You know what I mean? That is the hot crazy matrix chart. That is it. Crazy matrix chart. Hold on one sec. The first matrix chart you've seen that's almost right. Let's go back here. Dreamer Wars. If you don't pay attention now, you'll pay for a divorce in the future and pay for a hooker in the meantime. You know, you know, yeah, boring, boring relationships. I I want a boring relationship. I want to be boring. I want to cook. I want to stay at home and cook. I'll go out to some restaurants. I don't want to go out to clubs. I don't want to go out to bars. Uh, I want a pool table in the place so that I don't have to go anywhere to play pool. And a pool, so I don't have to go to someone else's pool. Very simple. And to me, just for me, I need like three, four bedrooms. You know? My place is four. Right now, my place is four. I need like, you know, three, four. One of them is completely empty. That's my what am I going to do with it room. I'm always going to have one of those. You need it. You're just like, you know, I could do some things with this room. Yeah, I want to I want to play video games. I want to do my my stupid YouTube channel. Yeah, it's got to have a red room. Uh, there's this, uh, there's a, yeah. That's the first thought of the other room. It ain't a gym. Or, or I got the gym. And there's this 
funky chair at this place called a pleasure chest, like this sex shop. And it's like this crazy iron and leather sex chair. It's pretty wild. I should go take a picture of it. It's like custom made. It's been there forever. It's like, it's like $6,000. Is it a swing? No, no, but a uh, swing is, you know, swing is, can be a thing. You know, I like a swing. I like the reverse swing. Turn that swing around, back that swing up. You got to back the swing up. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Like a hidden, like a hidden room. The Osta Pool Tournament. All right, so here we go. I think this is the page I'm looking for. Boom, 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 boom. Sort by featured items. It would be descending because it's very expensive. Oh no, see, this is a. Okay, this is up against the St. Andrew's Cross that goes up against the wall. You could put that St. Andrew's Cross on a fucking wheel, too. That thing, that uh, the X thing, put that on a wheel. There's a sex sofa. I can't, I don't know if the chair's in here. Yeah, I don't think the chair's in here. It says furniture, though. Hmm. Sport sheets, pivot positioner. Okay. There's the there's the there's the door jam sex sling. It's got the feet and the hands. Look at that. It's like a fucking parachute. You can jump out of a plane with this thing. Oh, where's the Oh, look, we've got pegging, <laughs> remote and app controlled sex toys. No, that's not the, no, that's not, the, that's not the chair. Where's the fucking chair? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm almost scared to click on some of this stuff. collection. Special collections. Okay. Special collections. All right. I think we're going to back off of this one. <laughs> I don't think that's the furniture. That ain't the furniture. A what? I'm not even looking that up. I feel like that would be a, you know, a problem. Okay, so there's right, so here's the furniture be under kink now. 
clamps, blind phones, banking toys, most popular. Expanded spreader knives, bust that thing out, bitch. Okay, where is the freaking chair? All right, we gotta find this chair. I, I gotta, I gotta take this off so that if so, if something pops up. All right, I'm very specific about what I wanted to find. Okay. Oh, here we go. Is it in here? The fuck is that? <laughs> Where's this fucking chair? I mean, it's a chair. I don't know if I would sort it by. That, and that's not it. Okay, that's interesting. But that's just like, that looks like something in a fucking chiropractor's office, for fuck's sake. Some safety tips. Don't put your nuts in anything that folds or creases. Unless you really want to. Okay, here we go. Sex furniture. Sounds like a band would be the name of my next band. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this. This is a. Oh, here's a. Here we go. There we go. Do we have a bed made of pipes? <laughs> this is the. <laughs> there's a the sex furniture thing. That's not what I'm talking about, right? The fuck? No oh, thanks. Pillows. We were scrolled down here. Blankets. Sex blankets. It's a sex blanket. Oh, okay. All right. Now I know. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> It's not a sex blanket. It's a fucking cum towel. Why don't these people just say what it is? See, this is a cum towel. I'll bet they're not upset about this cum towel. I'll bet Nora's bought a couple of these. When she uh, eats the cream pie, the the UPS uh, chocolate cream pies from her, you know, wife's thing. She's a piece of shit. Oh, here's another swing. Couple fantasy swings. See, there's a back one. There's a back, uh, the old back door on the swing. Chaises. Okay, here we go. Well, that just looks like a regular, like that looks like IKEA. The black label as shades with cuff kit. That's a little more. That's a little more interesting. The nugget. <laughs> this looks like something that would be in Elvis's house. Okay, both of these things. What is this? Black basket swing. What? Huh? How is that sex furniture? I see. Okay. Oh, put the, okay. Well, why not then? Sex benches and ramps. What are you going to jump someone? You got a ramp? You got a sex ramp? Sex ramp. See what I said? Chiropractor tables. How is this? Okay, I see now. <laughs> now I get it. You just got to think for a second before you talk too much. Oh, massage table. Is that a dick hole? Oh, no, that's the breeze. All right, well. See, that's this was my nickname in high school. Sex machine. That was me. And just mattresses. Okay. Well, there you go. There's the, there's the, uh, I can't find the thing. I'm going to have to go down there and take a picture of this freaking chair. It's still there. Now, now I, now I gotta know. Now I gotta know. Oh, 
Oh, I definitely would. Yeah, massage table would be nice, but you got to have somebody like massage you. Yeah, a table is just a table. What are you going to do from there? Just lay on the table? There is this thing at the chiropractor's office. It's got the, it's like a big roller thing. It rolls you out. It's pretty cool. So, well, that was a cool hang. I'm glad we did that. We got a lot out of the way. We did uh, three hours and 30 minutes. I think that was a fun time. I think that was a fun time. And I have some stuff coming this week about the Diddy Michael Jackson thing too. So that's super exciting. So I am going to say good night to everybody. And uh, I'm going to try and get a picture of that for you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the evening. Wow, we went three hours, 31 minutes. You know? Chris Shelton. We have to check in our old buddy, Chris. Watch the beginning tomorrow. Any ideas you can put in the comments or you could reach out to me uh, in the uh, known channels. And uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. That was a nice long one. I feel wiped out, ready to go to bed with some chocolate milk. No. Vanilla. See you guys in the next.